Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity playthrough. Last time, we panicked slightly over the fact that we went two bosses in one stream, and then luckily ran into no bosses the other stream. And uh, we really opened up the game last time. We discovered V-Waves with <laughs> Victini and his V-Wheel! As well as just opening up Paradise. Gerda and his boys came in. Where we can open up, like, renovate locations to make it less of a wasteland and start building things. It's a fun time. <laughs> My YouTube chat is still not, <laughs> unable to wrap their head around Daylight Savings Time, which, to be fair, uh, neither can I. Daylight Savings Time is evil. <laughs> but yes, we are going to continue and basically see what happens, because I have no idea. Oh, hey! Th I th this is cool! I didn't realize that this is a thing, that there's a recap. Oh, this is I don't think there was one last time, unless I was dumb. Okie doke. The story so far. One morning, a mirage came into view. When they heard it, it was the great glacier in the distant north. Neon and the others vowed to visit it one day. Now it's back to work and training so they can take on the glacier someday. And that's it. That's the story so far. Basically it. Uh, yeah. Also, Confagrius opened up his shop and we learned that it's uh, not for us just yet. Meh. Really, all that we're doing is that uh, I think I'm going to still go for that cool creek side. We need rich soil. We need rich soil, as well as I do believe uh, we need more lustrous metals in general to get the prize power a palace. And like, what even is you? Oh, yeah. I don't think I care about you yet because I remember correctly the evils. Basically, we need lots of things. But right now, I'm going to focus on getting stuff for the prize palace, just so we can figure out what that's like. So we need lustrous metals, and might as well go for precious herb. Uh, precious herb? Yeah, just read the two things out of order. Uh, precious branch and fresh herb. Uh, the lustrous metal, not only so that we can build the prize palace, but so that we can also make the, uh, the dragon dojo. Ah, uh, but we also need stone slab. Nah, lots of things. Lots of things we need to work towards. Uh, let me quickly check my inventory. Let's see, we have a... Uh, should probably put some of these away, actually, just realized. Eh. Still cool. <laughs> Cover Band. <laughs> I still love... <laughs> I just realized that's a funny name. Cover Band. It's like a cover band, except instead of playing music that it's made by other people, uh, y you, you get... Your roadie gets punched instead of you. We have uh, heal seeds, revive seeds, orin berries, max elixirs, some um, orbs. Yeah, now let me uh, quickly put things away. And get the music! I love it! It's like the moment I open up this game, it's just like immediately love. So yeah. So precious soil, herb, the herb. Can't do that one yet. No idea why it exists, but okay. I forget. Do you have anything for me? Morning all. You know I was thinking. You do know about the team attack, hmm? Yeah, I've yet to use it, though, because fear. <laughs> it's just like, I'm going to save this for what it's important. Then I'm never going to use it, because I am a fool. You may have already pulled it off, hmm? Nope. But I thought I'd explain it. Anyway... A team attack is mm, carried out by all of the members of your party, making it a very special move. Mm? When you mm, spend a long time exploring a dungeon, you find that your team's hearts and minds become totally in sync. Mm? Then when your mm, team badge starts to glow, that's your chance. Mm -hmm. Pull down L and a shiny mm, team badge will appear on the touch screen. If you mm, tap it, you can pull off a team attack. A team attack will strike every enemy in the room, hmm? You should try it if you get that chance. Well, anyway, welcome to Quagsire Assembly. Let's see. What do you have in your shop right now? 
I doubt there's anything I'd want to buy, but might as well. Incinerate. I forget. Did you already have that? I don't. And plus, I, we don't have a fire move user anyway, so it's not really all that. I get the music. The music's so good. <laughs> Daylight savings honestly just feels like I got thrown back <laughs> in time by Primal Dialga. He is a weird, wacky little woo woo wah, ain't it? Alright, let me quickly check. The primary material that we're gonna get is rich soil. Rich soil and then anything else that is like secondary. Let's see. Rich soil and stone slab. I do believe we need stone slab for the dojo. So, well, let's see what else there is. Rich soil and spring water. <laughs> Rich soil and fresh herb. It's like, oh, he wants, he wants the soil. Make sure there's lots of soil for him. I think that is basically how it is going right now. I guess we'll go for this two lustrous metal, one rich soil, because we need that one soil for the ex, like, uh, renovation of the wasteland, and then the lustrous metal is for both the palace of, uh, the palace of, uh, gambling pleasure, as well as the dojo. So, we'll go find Leafeon. I'm looking for an adventurer, Leafeon. Let me know if you found Leafeon from Kubchu. Kubchu! I have no idea, but let's go right away! So you're going to head off for the job Leafeon is missing? Indeed I am. The request gate is now open. Good luck with your job! Thank you, Azumarill. Because in a way, I kind of like being able to just say, I'm going to go here, and then it just throws me to that dungeon. And I don't have to worry about activating it. But, I do still miss being able to do multiple jobs in a single dungeon. So I wish there was like a compromise so that I could do multiple missions in a single dungeon. And then he just died. Verizion is just here to kill everything. Use a slumber orb to temporarily put all the enemies in a room to sleep. This particularly useful when you run into a bunch of enemies at once. But what about paralysis though? Paralysis is also very good. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. How dare you! I don't know why, but that section of this song always reminds me of, like, the Rito music from uh, Age of Calamity. The Hyrule Warriors... Not... Excuse me. The Hyrule Warriors is not really sequel, but like a spiritual sequel. And hello, hello to chat. We are continuing. Gate to infinity. And just like, again, I jump in, the music hits, and I'm immediately in happy, I'm me immediately in a happy mood. The music is so good, but I'm afraid to seek out the OST in case I like run across a, a spoilerific, like a spoilerific uh, song title. I just browse through the, a playlist on YouTube. The title comes up with the song that plays when Verizian kills you all. No! I think you can't do multiple because back in the day, I used to Wonder Mail Generator to get eight free Reviver Seeds. <laughs> so that we're punished because of you. But more than likely, it's just because of the, like, new systems that they put into place. So first off, they made a new system to send you out. So maybe they didn't have a good system for multiple jobs in a single dungeon. Or more than likely, I think it's balancing reasons. Because they didn't want you to get a ton of resources from uh, a single dungeon. Because like even though you only need like a handful of uh, things per, like, uh, renovation and stuff that you put up, you still get one... You still get, like, three items every job. And so if you 
were able to do even, like, three jobs in a dungeon, that's nine items. We don't have a pet will, so yeah, sure, you can join. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna be a basic bitch, and I'll just call you Lily. Actually, you know what? Oh, I got full. Brain was just, a uh, full off right there. But instead, we're gonna call you... We're not gonna call you Lily. We're gonna call you... Let's see, where is it? I'm a dumb. My brain is out of it. Just hyped up on the music. You're a little bro. Come along, little bro. <laughs> My team has learned an infinite range move and just spun and hit a Pokemon off screen. Ah, mystery dungeon. Where murder is infinite. But yeah. Even though I would like to go on multiple missions, definitely, probably, they just didn't want the player to be able to go and do a billion jobs and get a billion resources in one go and break the pacing they're going for. Understandable, but disappointing. You motherfucker poison me? You motherfucker poison me just by contact? You little slut? Eh, son of a bitch. And I just walk around. I should get out soon enough. Oh. Damn it. Go. You jerk. Confuse Ray is a bane in this game. <laughs> the, what are they called? Litwick? About to confuse Ray me? I will break the Snivy. <laughs> is the bane to my Batman. My, <laughs> my Bat Snivy. My tackle will always be upgraded. And nothing. We went down a tunnel for nothing. You've chosen poorly. You see, you see people? That's why you don't use buffs. Just kill. Why prepare to kill when you can just go and kill right now? You jerk. Die. Yeah, sure, we don't have a bag on. Hmm. I would call you Baguette, but I don't know how to spell that off the top of my head, and I'm, I'm not gonna look it up. You aren't important like the, the, the lake trio from Platinum. I was willing to do in-depth research to remind me of the funny aha uh -huh in-joke that nobody else is gonna get, but you, you're not that one. Bagon. Like, you're the little guy that dreams of flying, right? Uh, then I guess I'll call you. Probably horribly wrong, but I'll just call you right then. Go and become a phoenix. <laughs> Be my lawyer later, will ya? You have chosen poorly. Don't poison me again. It poisoned me right after I got back from life. And now for some reason my brain went... If Mr. Krabs got thrown to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon universe, what Pokemon would he be? But we all know the answer, he'd be Krabby. 
sponge boy me bob. I have discovered how to make infinite pokey. <laughs> I have a meowth in my basement. I don't let him leave. This is probably the worst Mr. Krabs to ever exist. I haven't heard Mr. Krab in many a year. And now I'm suddenly reminded of the SpongeBob meme of uh, Mr. Krab going, That's me, homunculus. <laughs> we keep it in a state of pure euphoria so it doesn't go on a rampage and kill everyone. Again, I don't think I've seen a single actual episode of frickin' Spongebob. Just all the various memes. Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Just meme after meme after meme. Not a single episode. Not a single movie. You are going to die. Die. You might have a V-Wave on your side, but you are still going to die to me. The weed Pokemon. At least until Sprigagito is gets in here. I, I, I constantly forget how that's, that Pokemon's name is spelled. Sprigatito? It's something like that. It's like that. It's one of those words that you read and you think you understand, but then if you think about it, you go, wait a minute, do I actually understand? It's like Kecleon. For the longest time, thought it was Kesleon. Don't ask me why. The words, the letters of the word just bungled in my mind. I'll pet Lil is gonna die today. That orb. It is mine. You're not gonna get away with me, Orb. Or maybe you will. This place actually seems pretty big. But luckily, we do not hunger. We do not need food. We haven't seen a single apple. Except for the ones that we keep in our house. Which you know, hilarious that the the mystery dungeon game that introduces basically farming. But we can't put up apple trees. The one game that we could actually farm our own apples denied us. Eternally. And it seems like this place is all done. We got the health orb. We can leave to the next floor. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We must find Leafeon. Add them to our evolution harem. Just don't... Just don't confuse Raimi, you silly little candle. God, I would like to play you, but playing against you is mean. Get dual chopped, idiot. I'll just tackle you. Level up my tackle. Become a god. Level up for the boy, Lock. Better go grab this item. It's just money, but we need all the money we can get. Hilarious, considering we could just sell our gold bars, but we're saving that up just to see. I need to go back and see. Probably not going to get any of the banners. The TMs might be interesting. Just, uh, again, browse his wares. Constantly second-guess myself on what I'm going to get from him. <laughs> Buy now, sell later. 
<laughs> Evolution Harem. Hey guys, did you know that Vaporeon will never be the same? And no other Evolutions copy pasta will ever top it. Because every single one will just be like, ah, you're just trying to <laughs> trying to rip off and exceed the last copy pasta. You're not original. But I just find it hilarious that it just keeps happening with Pokemon. Pokemon will never beat the lewd allegations. Especially as they flip-flop and sometimes... Sometimes lean into it, kind of. Other times kind of try to distance themselves. They'll never be safe. Oh, hello. <laughs> For a moment, it's like, wait, why is there a yellow dot in here? Oh, Kabchu is looking for me. Thank you for letting me know. And now we can teleport you out. No, we're not going to escape. We're going to continue because there's like no other place, but we might run into more Pokemon to murder. Like that guy. That guy we can murder. You think it's like, like at all traumatizing to go into a dungeon and have to fight Pokemon that are similar to like other Pokemon you know, like if you know a Swaddle in real life, you go into a dungeon and you see a Swaddle and it's coming for you. Thank you for finding me, Tian, for me. I completely forgot that you existed, Snot Icicle Bear. I'll give you this as a reward. 200 pokey, lustrous metals, and rich soil. As well as a power band and 40 paradise points. Huzzah! Again, miss the kind of good night wishes from explorers. Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. The following is an announcement from Happy. Until this point, you have always played by operating Neon, but now you can play as one of the team members you leave behind in paradise. Just select the companion mode from the X menu to check it out. This has been an announcement from Happy. Huh. Interesting. That's actually really interesting that they allow you to do that before the story really gets started. Huh. Interesting. Kind of weird, but interesting. Welcome to Quagsire Assembly. Let me see what you have to shop for, my boy. Let's see. <laughs> rock tomb. The ever expensive rock tomb. We can just buy a tomb. All right. If you want to prepare some land, then the Gerda crew is all you need. Let's see. Can we? Ah, well, we can prepare this land. I want to make a cool... So we need more money. I'll be right back with the pokey. Granted, considering that he's willing to renovate an entire stretch of land... Like, for just a handful of materials and less money than a Reviver Seed... Respect on Girder's name. Let's make a cool creek side. No idea what it does, but hey. Got it. Then I'll prepare it to be a real nice, cool creek side, okay? Yes. <laughs> Many mode lets you play as other characters and do missions and build up paradise while you're stuck in certain parts of the story. Ah. Interesting. That's actually really cool. All right. It's all prepared. Go check it out when you've got a sec. There's a little gift for you to celebrate all this preparing. Go on, take it. Ooh, nice. Nice. This is cool. That, that's cool. It's kind of XCOM-like. 
It's kind of XCOM, like, it's like, oh, hey, you, like, re renovated this section. You can have even more Pokemon. Join as your teammates. But yeah, that, that's interesting that they, like, are preparing you to be like, hey, you can build up Paradise while you're <laughs> away on the story. <laughs> now we can do Companion Mode. We can build the prize palace. We can't do sunken treasure, which doesn't bother me at all. Let's see. And we can make dragon dojo. But can we do both? Probably not. Dragon dojo is more important. I just realized I didn't... Oh, wait, no, I think we did. Blech. But, uh, actually, we'll make the dojos in the same land so that we... Have, like, at least the mainland. Oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, well, is it still, is it still, oh, no, did we not? Oh, yeah, good, good. I just wanted to make sure. Oh, interesting. All right, so we have our siege show. So each place can roughly hold four things. It'll change tomorrow, you say? Hmm. I guess I'll buy these seeds just so I can make the the seed diddly dees properly later. But yeah, we'll call Girder in. You want to build a facility here? What facility do you want to build? We want to build a dragon dojo. Dragon Dojo, you want to build it? Indeed. All right, come on, you two slackers. Yes, boss. And remember, while you hire laborers to build stuff for you, stay hydrated. And nope, looks like a same dojo as last time. Would you look at that? It's done. We built your Dragon Dojo for you. Oh, hey. Finally, somebody kind of different. It's not just an elemental monkey. If you ever run out of Reviver Seeds when the story is all like, go save the world, it's going to end in three days, like, uh, Link. You can just play companion mode and grab like 30. <laughs> That's funny. Call me if you need anything else. Thank you indeed. Welcome to the Dragon Dojo. I'll help. All right, my boy. Learn that dual chop. We've got the money to spend on it. Just a every little bit helps. To get these attacks just up and rolling a little bit more. Always Vine Whip. <laughs> Always get Vine Whip up there. Old Reliable. Let's see. What other things can we build? Well, we can still make the prize palace. Fires have, so basically, fields, dojos. So basically, it's just the prize palace. So I might as well make the prize palace and see. It'll be a thing to do each day, I guess, maybe. Maybe we can spend the gold there. Now the question is, here, where do I wanna, want it to be? I do like that each one... Where did he get all the water? Where did Girder get all the water? And, huh. This place only has room for three, it looks like. Never mind, there's a fourth down here. Okay, Prize Palace will be down here, away from everybody. 
your little gambling sin. Make a prize palace for me. Prize palace? You wanna build it? Come on, you two slackers! Yes, boss! I feel like Gerda's voice keeps changing. <laughs> That doesn't look like a prize palace at all. Okay. A weird choice for a Pokemon to do a prize palace, but okay. Welcome, this is the prize palace. Let me get... Here, you can play various tickets. If you have a prize ticket, you can play an instant ticket. You can get a prize tickets in any in another facility swap shop. Is Krogunk gonna come back? When you get them, please play instant tickets. If you pay Pokey, you can play scratch tickets anytime you want. Scratch three circles, and if you get two or more of the same symbol, you win a prize. You can also get random tickets by paying Pokey. The results will be announced on the next day. Check back here to find out if you want to remember to get excited. Well, I guess we'll buy a random ticket. Mini random. Jackpot exciting, others a little joy. We'll only buy two. Interesting that we can buy multiple. And I guess we'll buy one scratch. Ah, Geo Pebbles. They're in this game? And stay away, or. I mean, I guess I might as well give it a shot. All right. Oh, I need to go get all of it done. Oh, uh, well, we get some Geo Pebbles. Congratulations. Do I get three? Because there were four on there. <laughs> Never mind, for some reason. Huh. Weird. Do I only get to scratch three then? <laughs> I guess, maybe. Huh, interesting. You gave him like three cups of spring water. That seems like how much there is. Man, those spring waters. They're overflowing. Gonna play Mystery Dungeon DX now because you got me in the mood. Mystery Dungeon is always a mood. Hello, Victini. Kind of sad that you stole the Timbers' place. I just love this game. Uh, we don't have any boxes, do we? Profound sadness. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. What do you have today, Rock Smash? At least I don't think that was an HM in the last in the previous game, so less thing to worry about. Everyone's off to see the Mirage, I'm afraid. Looks like today'll be slow for business, but you have to have times like this too. Swana is just so sweet. <laughs> don't you mean Victory Wee or yeah, Victory Wheel. No, V Wheel, that is it. Oh hey, can we get double doing? Can we do double training from two then? We broke the system. We can double train. I'm going against my trainer's wishes by training with another trainer. And I, I forget exactly, but let me quickly go over what you have. Glorious gold! Let's see, exchange for items, because that's basically the best way to do it. Because the flags I'm never going to do because they have to be equipped, I believe. Being next to the holder prevents. So I doubt that it's just something that you can actually have just in your inventory. Because it needs to, and plus because, like, the holder doesn't get affected. We do have prize tickets here, so I guess we could grab these if we want and turn them in.
We have, of course, the manuals and the TMs. I think I'm going to build up to the TMs because, like, I don't know. Then again, I'm a fool and the TMs are probably the worst value, but they're what my my brain sticks on. Because the ad, like the manuals also look pretty cool. But I'll at least get like Dragon Tail and Energy Ball, then I'll play around tickets, manuals, save up for the really expensive stuff, then do the small stuff. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the walking around, talking to everybody. Again, like, I really do enjoy just the feeling of it being a town. Also, I just want to say, like, look at the water. That's some nice water. We'll put things and money away. Wait, no, not withdraw deposit. I'm a fool. Do we have any treasure boxes? No boxes. Just wanted to make sure. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Organize quickly. And what do Geopebbles do? Throw to attack a faraway enemy. I guess we'll hold on to you, even though Geopebbles seem to be very rare now. <laughs> Geopebbles are very, very rare in this, in this continent for some reason. Like, people from another continent come on in... And they're like, oh yeah, this is just a normal thing that we have back home. Petrifies all enemies on the floor? That seems like overkill. I was wondering, it's just like, hey, why is there a, both a full hold orb? Oh wait, was there a person there I, I, in that little place? I want to see. Or did my eyes? No, it was just a flower. But so, I thought I saw something, so I was like, I need to check again. This is the challenge board. The job requests on the challenge board are special requests. Uh, I've, I think I was... Uh... Oh, wait. I didn't read it properly. Damn it. I was holding B, and I thought we could read it again. Ah, so this is like a dilly D thing. But it requires the... Like, wireless, it looks like. And I went through too fast, so I couldn't even read it. <laughs> is it possible? Uh, is it in message log? Ah, yes, it is in message log. Good. The job requests on the challenge board are special requests. You'll have to go through it on your own as the lone representative of your team, but if you use local wireless, you can embark on an adventure with your friends. Give Azumarill a note from the Challenger board to open the left request gate. So depart for your job from that gate, but be warned. Some of the dungeons you find beyond the gate are quite fearsome. You can only adventure with your friends when you're in companion mode. Hmm. When you want to adventure with friends, first switch over to companion mode. Okay, so we can do it. It's just that companion mode is like a thing for here. <laughs> Buried ruins is like... Go, find them, you go alone. And these are all, like, very, very, very scary. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, let me, oh, yeah, let me quickly see. What things do we might want to make in materials? Because I don't think we can prepare a new land. There's only... So many, but is there anything? Sunken treasure, I guess we can look for fresh herb. And then everything else is like uh, blah blah blah. So yeah. Fresh herb is a secondary, I guess. Let's go all the way. Just to see. For that extra money. Precious branch or sturdy vine. Lustrous metals. Stone slab. I guess we'll go punish Ma Masharna. I'm the king of villains. Got a problem with that? Bring it on. Interesting. I'm kind of interested. To <laughs> so yeah, I don't even know what a Masharna is. You know what? I'm curious. 
hmm, do I? Because yeah, I almost didn't read that it's just like, hey, come fight me. So I'm like, hmm. Well, let's give it a shot. Why don't we? Let's go beat up a guy. Why is that on the board? Why would a Zoomeril be like, yeah? That's basically a boss fight against a uh, mission against four random enemies or a single legendary Pokemon. I'm curious. The difficulty shouldn't be too hard. I have orbs. Let's see. Because we do have decent, like, orbs. Just on us. Let me double check. Because we do have all dodge, all power up, health, and petrify. So I think we'll be able to do it. Oh, first, I'll grab some extra revivers just in case. Because I doubt we'll need them, but better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. Oh, you meant the other board. Ah. But still, this also feels like a boss fight, so still. But maybe, maybe at some point we'll try out that other board. Oh, Frisian off on murdering again. Did it drop an item perchance? No. Perchance to dream. Well, that, this section of the place is all done-done. You leer at me, I kill you. Darn it, it didn't die, but now it did die. And death is what's important. Da -da, da -da -da -da. You dare use Absorb on my friend? I kill you! <laughs> you get hit by a critical cr chop to the neck. You are now dead. You've been Batmaned. Or I guess more Spock. Your fury attack means nothing in the face of this powerful, thick dragon. You idiot. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. I wonder what, like, uh... Ba -ba -ba. What evolution is like in this game? Because it feels like a, a lot of other things are just going all wibbly wobbly. Who knows? Maybe they'll let you evolve the normal characters, but not your main characters. Who knows? Who knows? Da, 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 da. I just love the music. It's just utterly fantastic. Quickly check for sparklies in case I'm blind. I'm doubtless going to. Huh. You're mildly terrifying. The other one's fury attack? Nothing. This one annihilates me. I love Pokemon move names directly translated from Japanese. Heaven Scorching Light of Destruction Go. Yeah, because I forget if it's like a uh, super direct translation or if it's like they decided to change its name during... Huh. And it seems that my OBS has, uh, stopped streaming. It's disconnected for some reason. Is it because of my internet? Ah, there we go. Internet slightly died there for a moment. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. That was actually on my end for once, because it told me, Hey, OBS disconnected. OBS was a bitch and failed at its job. Well, let's hope that uh, that doesn't happen again. 
Okay, this is the conga line of death. Then again, I am also a conga line of death, so who knows. But yeah, back to thought that I was saying before internet decided to die. But, uh, because I know that there's, like, at least with some languages, there's a difference between, like, what the word actually means and what, like, a direct literal translation of, like, the letters making up the word is. Like, it's different. So, like, in Chinese, like, uh, the individual letters can sometimes be, or maybe always be, I am a Philistine. I am an uncultured fool. But, like, uh, the letters themselves can be words themselves. But when you put them together, they mean a different word. So, like, a literal translation of some words can be read as the other words that are comprising this word. So I wonder if it's, like, the same for Japanese. If, like, some of the direct translations are like that and they're not... Like, literally meant to be taken literally. I don't know. Again, I am a fool. I am but an insipid American. Cheeseburger morpher from the Sentai. To think I used to be scared of you. Fire spin all you want. I'm not afraid. Check for sparklies, no sparklies. And now we march on. <laughs> also, again, with my internet going out slightly there, freezing the stream, that is why I r record locally and have the stream become unlisted after the stream and then upload the full file to YouTube later so that the best quality experience is always guaranteed because sometimes, like, direct streaming can get funky if it's just left on its own devices. Amolga has, <laughs> Amolga has decided to go on the murder spree this time. But that is indeed why I record locally and upload them later. Just in case something catastrophic happens. And funnily enough, being able to stream with the VODs existing can help the cataclysm being avoided in the opposite way. It stops it from like if my local recording gets screwed up or something, I can always go to the stream and uh, splice in anything I might need. There's always backups on the backups. <laughs> You're so adorable. Ah, thank you. I'll always take a compliment. You stole one of my fucking things, you, stu you stupid vulture baby. With your eggshell diaper. How dare you. The super early game monster is the Adino. The later game. <laughs> so it's like the four hours later, the true monster becomes the Volaby, because they steal your shit. Didn't we forget this move? I think we ex f f forgot this move before. Don't forget it again. Mulgu was just like, hey, can I <laughs> bring it back? Oh, uh, that's why I can't find your VODs too soon after you finish streaming. They should be found through the, uh, in the playlist section, there should be a playlist called, uh, like, Raw VODs or something. I forget what I exactly named it, but there should be a playlist where you can find the original VODs. Nine times out of ten, unless something weird happens. Then again, I don't think I've ever gone in there to directly check, so maybe, maybe things have catastrophically bad happened. And immediately they're gone. <laughs> the move Crossroad Killing is a reference to how samurai tested the sharpness of their weapons. Yeah, I think it's like, uh, I forget if it was, if it's like a kind of historical urban legend or what, but yeah, the, 
samurai were like, ha ha ha, I am superior, I'm gonna randomly kill a civilian to test my sword. Eh, because the shogunate was such bastards. Silly grass type using growth in the face of danger. What are you trying to do? Like, puff yourself up like a bird? <laughs> ah, I went to the Twitch to watch the VOD of the first gate section, but that's good to know. <laughs> My team, just annihilating all the enemies. I don't even have to order them. They are the gods. This makes me wonder if, like, in one Mystery Dungeon world, if legendary Pokemon were just, like, uh, really rare Pokemon that were, like, had great achievements under their belt as being a team. So, like, the Lake Trio, they're just really rare Pokemon. But they were such a fantastic team, there's like, ah, they're the legendary Pokemon. Because they're literally legendary figures. With an, oh, hey, we'll be able to use the team attack when we go up against this next kind of boss. If I remember to use it. I probably won't because I'm a fool. Oh, there was a sparkly and I missed it? Well, let's begin from the beginning of when the, <laughs> the stream delay might have kicked in. Because I genuinely do not know the stream delay now. Oh, Amolga's doing murder. But luckily, Amolga came right back for more murder. Give me those. Give me that, those, and those. Oh, I got it? Huh, I'm a fool. I don't think I got it. Maybe I... Am I so blind that I walked over a sparkly inadvertently? Eh, knowing me, I, I could entirely be that blind. It was under Axew's feet when you entered the floor. Well, I guess we can always jump back all the way, see? Because I'm actually curious. Now I'm imagining Samurai Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon Gear Rising. Ry Raiden would totally be a... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to double check because I'm a fool. But yep, it does look like we got it. But yeah, like, Raiden would totally be a Pikachu. Or if we want to emasculate him, a Pichu. <laughs> he begins as a Pichu, and when he gets his new cyborg body, he levels up to a Pikachu. And after he accepts the philosophy at the end of the game, he becomes a Raichu. Perfect. How do you miss? This motherfucker stole my shit. Always stealing my orange berries. My rightfully ganged orange berries. I don't think I've used a blast seed yet. I almost called it a blast wave. Because I saw a V-wave. And I was just like, it logged into my memory. You know, I constantly fail to see, like, the... Blah, blah, blah. What's it called? I'm trying to think of what it's called. The blah, blah, blah. Leech Seed. I keep uh, failing to see the Leech Seed activate. Maybe it's because I'm a dumb. And my Vine Whip got upgraded. 
It'll be the ultimate whip. And Locke will love it. It look for sparkly is just in case. Sparkly! I got a roll call orb. Not really all that useful to me, but hey. An orb's an orb. The music is just so good in this game. I just love it. You dare try to absorb me? Tornado! Fight all you want, Tornado! And the chest! It's been so long since we've gotten one. Why would you do that? That's an electric type. Amolka, what are you doing? Amolka! Why are you a fool? You could have done that the entire time, but you were just like, ooh, an electric type. I'm gonna blast him. What, were you, were you hoping to get Verizian caught in the blast there? Little Amolka boy? <laughs> are you the imposter? I can't believe Amolga was the imposter the whole time. He was making limp spaghetti. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba. I believe it was on level seven. Huh. One thing that I just noticed, like, pretty much all of the dungeons have the, like, uh, goal be at, like, the very end of the dungeon, it feels like. Or at the very least, the very end of that segment. Either that or I'm dumb and I'm forgetting how these dungeons work. Could always be that. You can never discount the possibility that you're the one just being dumb. It's why whenever I give, like, an anecdote that I've heard, like, uh, when I'm talking to people, I usually try to throw out there as, like, oh, by the way, this is just a thing that I randomly remember. I have no sources to cite, so take it with a grain of salt. It's a random factoid brain moment with no sources to cite. <laughs> take it at your own risk. Because you never know, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. But usually if I feel like I'm right about something, I'll like double check it. Because like, a while back I mentioned in a Discord server that I frequent, I'm like, hey, I remember there being like a Pokemon funny aha April Fool's hoax joke where Luigi was a Pokemon. And other people like, Nah, it was all, it was, it was Yoshi. And they're just like, nah, it was Yoshi. Luigi was never a hoax, so I decided to, like, out of spite, look it up as, like, hey, am I, am I being dumb? Is my memory betraying me? But luckily, like, on a Pokemon wiki, it was right up there. It's like, yep, there was a hoax in which Luigi evolved from, I forget what it was, what he evolved from, but there was a funny aha. Luigi was a Pokemon hoax from Nintendo. And I was vindicated, even though I'm fairly certain nobody paid attention to it. But I know, and that's what matters. Get pursuited. The very rare Verizian level grow. Do 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 do. Ba 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 ba. I do wonder if Verizian is going to get more character development or her, if her character development begins and ends at 
It was like, ah, oh, you should never trust anybody. Sees that what uh, everybody else was going for with Dunsparce, and she was like, hmm, I guess I'll give this a shot. Quit plucking my shit, you fuck! Never. Volaby will never be allowed into my team. Especially not a thief! Hilarious, considering we have Scraggy working for us, but... Granted, we never asked him. Quagsire press-ganged him into being a shopkeep. Alright, are we gonna spawn in front? You definitely look like it. You found the outlaw, Masherna! Alright. Slumber! There we go. And died anyway. While I was setting everything up, Outlaw was utterly annihilated. Good job, Locke. And I didn't use the team move! Oh! Well, if there's ever more than one Pokemon to kill in a room, I'll use the team move. And then I will promptly forget to do that, and I will go, ah, oh! again. That is, that is, that is what is most likely going to happen. I do like that they brought back the outlaw music. Then again, it, all it really is is them taking a song that you already know and uh, remixing it, so they probably don't need to spend as much resources with the music on that front. But yeah, I am just... I really, really hope that we get another, like... Uh, another... Blah, blah, blah. Ah, sure, we'll have you. Hmm. Because I am unoriginal. Come on, Blitz. Yeah, where was my thought going? I had a thought going, and then it's gone. Oh, yeah. I'm still desperately hoping... Desperately hoping that, uh, we'll get another, like, uh, in the hands of fate, time gear situation. Where a motif is just spread across the entire game. That is what I want so badly. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I especially hope that it's a good motif that's repeated because, ooh, in the hands of time, through the sea of time, time gear, the the tower theme, Dialga's fight to the finish, all of that, so good. Oh, you hope you're ready because this game has two. My ears are open and I am waiting for repeated themes. I want to be punched in the gut and my heart torn to shreds. That is what I want out of a mystery dungeon game. I've already pointed out every single time I've heard, like, the personality quiz theme played. Uh, you annihilate him. Wait, what do you mean thanks to the V-Wave? You're not a water type. Oh, wait, no! Ah, the, the, yeah, 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 now I get it. The V-Wave has changed. Because it's not my day, it's in Pokemon Day. I'm a fool, I'm an idiot. The theme of hope and desperation, I think. You've already heard both. Hmm. They don't jump out to me, but it could be that I'm just dumb. I'll keep my ears pe uh, peeled for the future. I could I could guess that maybe the they played during the major moments with, like, Girder. But I cannot recall. 
It could be that I am tonally a stupid head, and it, it requires very specific motifs to bash down my, my memory brain. Entirely possible. You kill. I love this music. Oh, hey, Verizian hit a hundred life points. Good for her. Bide all you want, you're still gonna die. No random Pokemon want to show up for me to use my team attack on because I kept forgetting. Let's just go. We escape. Oh, I am the winner. <laughs> oh, hey, Quagsire is here to dish out some punishment. I'm sorry. I won't be bad anymore. Mm, many thanks for punishing the evildoers. Your reward, hmm? <laughs> we don't get a Magnazone to dish out things. And 40 uh, Paradise Points. Oh, we're gonna get more story every single time that this happens. We get story, or at least some kind of thing. You should take a rest before you play more. You're not my dad, Oak. <sighs> <sighs> Is the pink elephant running? All right. Okay, that was cool. Somebody got to post town, maybe. Is somebody going to invade our house? We don't have a door. Back here. Is this another dream? Uh, that voice. I think I can hear it. Hear me. Neon. Neon can hear me. I need Neon. Please help. I can't. I couldn't catch most of it. What is she trying to tell me? The voice is fading. Wait! I want to hear more! It's no good. The dream's slipping away. Vague dreams. The dream connection wasn't there. Morning, Neon! Huh? What's up? You seem kind of out of it this morning. Still tired? Couldn't sleep well last night. I guess it's no big surprise he's worried. I guess I'd better just explain the whole mess to Locke. What? So you've been having dreams the past few nights? And in those dreams you keep hearing the same voice? The same voice that was calling for help when you first came here? Then... Then what does the voice say? Uh, demanding help, really. Really? You can't really hear the words, huh? Sorry, Neon, but I don't know. Maybe... Maybe the Pokemon who wanted your help, Neon, is trying to communicate with you using some kind of telepathy or something, huh? What? <laughs> Out of everything we've seen in the world, we draw the line at telepathy? That's gotta be it. And it couldn't even get through to your dreams when you first came here, right? That makes it sound even more likely. I bet that Pokemon's been, like, broadcasting for help this whole time. The whole time?! But there must have been some problem. So you never even heard it till now. You say you heard more last night than you did the dream before that, so maybe you two are, I don't know, getting in sync or something. Maybe it'll be even clearer next time. I do like that the partner in this game is just, like, fully accepting. Like, even the explorer's partner was kind of like, are you sure you're not, like, hungry? Are you sure you're not, like, daydreaming? At first, this guy... Full ride or die who's just like, yeah, I believe you. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's telepathy hitting through your dreams. <laughs> just full on. I get it. It could be true. But I guess it really is in my dreams. Why was called to this world? The answer to all my mysteries. Once you figure out where that Pokemon is, we'll go save her at once. Don't worry. I'll be with you. I just These guys are great. But this guy's great. Ah, Plipper! Where's he going? 
Always come. Oh, throwing flyers down. <laughs> like they did in uh, Rescue Team, I think. What could this be? It's some kind of notice. Let me see. Locke read the notice. Hmm, it's a notice from Happy. Apparently they've been getting reports of a suspicious Pokemon that's been spotted lurking near Post Town. We should take caution when traveling and keep our windows and doors locked. We don't have a door! Well, that's what they say anyway. There have always been suspicious Pokemon in Post Town, though. We've gotten into plenty of trouble firsthand because of them. But maybe they sent out this kind of notice because they're worried this Pokemon might be even more dangerous than the Ponyard Brothers or the enemies in the dungeons. Well, this makes me really wonder how everyone's doing in Post Town right now. Cut to Post Town, everybody's panicking. We don't have any doors! Do, 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 do. I won! I won everything! I got a power band. I guess we'll buy one random ticket then. I'll just buy... Oh, <laughs> I'll buy zero random tickets. The ultimate amount of random tickets. But I do like that you can just, like, get so many, like, random... Or not random, but, like, such cool environments here. And we'll check our Orenberry farm because l vul lullabies keep stealing my shit. There we go. I guess. Why don't we check and see, like... Yeah, we don't have anything for, like, the building up places. What about you? Nope, still need the bigger soils. Go ahead and train my stuff. Ba 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 Always train up my Vine Whip in case we get, like, a random event that, like, supercharges it. Uh -huh. There's got... I do wish that the dialogue was a bit snappier for the dojos. Always do the, dro the dual chop. I wonder why it's call not called a dragon chop. Although I just realized the bigger paradise gets, the more walking I'm going to have to do. The horror. Do, 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 do. Hmm, hello there. Good timing. Can you give this to the Signora at the end? A Signora? You mean Swana, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some pokey. You're giving us pokey? This is for my mm, bill yesterday. I went to the inn's restaurant yesterday for dinner, mm. But I was so laid back that I forgot to bring any pokey, mm. I didn't remember until after I'd finished mm, eating. Far too late, mm. So the Signora just let me mm, put it on credit. I really should go pay her back myself, mm. But my old back is really killing me today, hmm? Got it, Quagsire. We can take it so sw to Swana for you. Actually, this is good timing. We were just about to go check in on the town anyway. Sorry for the trouble. I'm counting on you, hmm? Are we gonna get mugged for the money? And he'll be like, You didn't rip me off, did you, hmm? Looms over us threateningly. What do I name Rotom? No idea. I'm already bad enough at naming my own Pokemon. We'll probably have to take out some Hornberries. And they keep stealing my own frickin' Reviva Seeds. Oh, never mind. It's just a... Uh, there we go. No, 
Now we can put things away properly. Da, 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 da. Got so many orbs. Fear me and my power. All of the orbs are mine. And we can also, well, first things first, we'll probably bring out our money just in case. Withdraw. Just want to make sure he didn't have anything to say about the, uh, the notice. And now everybody's gone in fear, I guess. Damn it, I have a box! Is that Pokemon really that creepy? Whoa! It's like a ghost town. Did everyone get scared off by that notice after all? No one even dares to go outside, huh? Well, let's go check at Swan is in. She should still be at the restaurant, at least. And the music's gone, too. Neon? What do we need to do now is go to the inn. We told Quagsar we'd settle his bill of Swan, after all. All right. Creepiness. What's this? From Quaxar, you say? Oh, to settle his bill from yesterday. Uh, I figured he'd get around to it, but thanks for going out of your way. It looks like there's still quite a few folks here. That sure is a relief. Oh, you were actually worried, were you? Because of the notice about a suspicious Pokemon near Post Town? How sweet. But these things happen quite often. I'm not particularly worried. Yeah? I feel a bit better hearing that, to be honest. Though, don't get me wrong, what I'm about to say isn't just about the notice this time, but the town's Pokemon are feeling quite uneasy about things. Tension is running high between Pokemon, and quarrels break out all the time. Relationships keep growing worse. Cravens and all because of the rainbows are hoped in appear these days. Ach, I'll be first to admit that I and all the po good folk here in Post Town... Well, we've been finding it hard, might hard to hold up the hope since the Rambos left us. It's not just Post Town, Pops. Pokemon all around the world are losing any kind of hope they used to have. And I don't know why, but if things keep going, this. Oh, hey. I recognize this theme, but I forget exactly from where. I know it's a remix, at least from Rescue Team, I think. I think it's just like a stock song, but still good. But if things keep going this way, I feel like something really bad's gonna happen sooner or later. Something bad? Oh, I, I can what you mean, lad. I fancy all us here feel the same deep down beneath it all. It's fair certain. It's feeling that something bad's drawn to, near to us. And that, and, and that there's no happy future ahead. I ever lost one of us. Has that keen ear feeling? Or at least I'm much mistaken. But even if we all do, we all do. What are we supposed to do about some silly feeling, huh? This vague feeling of dread. A vague feeling of dread. Yeah. Ah, well, that wasn't very cheery. But we can't just sit around moping either. Let's do our best, Neon. I wonder. What Locke really thinks about all this talk of doom and gloom. Her dear and Rufflet's just said that all the Pokemon in this world have been feeling it, didn't they? Then maybe Locke actually feels that way too. What's the matter? Nothing to look so down about. Locke's so positive. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. But I've got to stay positive too. All right, that's more like it. Then let's go and give it our all to our requests again today. Don't, game, don't have a horrible moment where Locke breaks down in front of me. Even the DLC guy's gone! Yeah! Okay. Redeemed. <laughs> okay. I accept that. I will accept the DLC guy purely because he actually fucked off along with everybody else. But man. Yeah, game, don't... 
Don't you dare, game. Don't you dare do a thing like that and have Locke break down and lose hope. Mm-hmm. Thank you for paying back the Signora for me. I owe you. Mm-hmm. I do. But yeah, don't, don't game. <laughs> don't you dare. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do that to. I want to say goodbye to myself. The dark ending. <laughs> Two thieves. I guess one is that Mashurna and the other is Scraggly. I will buy a slave. But yeah, my, my brain just keeps going back to what if the game is that cruel? What if the game actually does? Like have Locke break down. Like, you remember how in Rescue Team at the beginning of the Fugitive arc, where you can tell your partners, like, maybe we should disband the team so that nobody has to get hurt because of me, because I'm being accused of threatening the world? Like, what if that kind of happens, but it's Locke, and he's just like, nothing actually matters. We'll never be able to actually build a a paradise. So what, why don't we just give up? God, don't you dare game. Hmm. Let's see. I guess we'll do more rich soil. I don't know. Eh, let's go to Desolate Canyon. Level 5 for branch money and stuff. Wait, oh, yeah, I just... Utter fear. Let me quickly double check everything. Let's see. Because we got a stun seed, petrifies and immobilizes. Hmm. I guess I'll take a slumber orb just in case. <laughs> okay, for crying out loud, why didn't YouTube notify me you were streaming? I'm pretty sure I had the bell ringing too. I have no idea. It. Social media, like, notification things are wonky, wonky, wonky. That wonky evil ha-ha wah. It doesn't help that, Mike, my schedule for other people also has become wonky because daylight savings time happened. I'm still streaming at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, but technically that's changed for people since I started streaming because Daylight Savings Time did a flip. Because <laughs> actually you came in about the same time I would be streaming normally, I think, if uh, Daylight Savings Time didn't activate, I think. Maybe? I forget. Spring forward. I don't know. Time maths hurt brain. You kill him! I'm not gonna let the, that Volaby steal my Reviva Seeds! Oh hey, we can like kill this thing now. Slowly. Kill the Clang! Kill the Clang! Ow. Oh, Jesus! This is why we have orange berries. Maybe I shouldn't have messed up the clang. Alright, I'm gonna move out. Okay, that was- that's the- that's like a metal slime, I guess. 400! Because I think last time we ran into a sleepy, like, uh, a sleepy clang, we couldn't do anything to it. So I was like, we just kept banging our head against it, but it wouldn't wake up even. So it was like, oh, I find we'll go away. That's interesting. That the clang is like, gives a ton of experience.
I gotta go. I might be back later in the stream, though. Have a good one. Thank you very much. And whatever you have to go do, hope it goes well for you. Did you fucking steal my shit? God damn it. Luckily, it's a thing. Like, I don't know, it did a thing, and then it just biggly bogged. You smack him down. I don't know. All I saw is that it did a move it mentioned in a reunion cape, and I'm just like, what the fuck? And I fell asleep again. I do find it interesting that this is a different sleep animation than the sleep animation we do in the house. Which I do appreciate. Like, they could have just gone and made it the same sleep animation, but now they decided to make it unique, and I like that. Kill that motherfucker. We must approach the Volaby on all fronts so that it cannot steal my shit. And Amolga is catching up to Verizian and outpacing us a bit. Which is still kind of funny. Get tackled, idiot. Ah. Quickly check for sparklies. And then let's go check out the rest of it. The rest of the dungeon. Floor. Make sure my allies don't run off in a blaze of death. But I kind of like the almost slow burn that we've entered with the story. Where it's just like, small nugget, small nugget. Because like, it, there's kind of the blazing opening where we, we get introduced to Girder, get fleeced by Girder. We then earn Girder's like, respect and will to become a good Pokemon again. We get introduced to Verizian and the town and Dunsparce and Amolga and stuff very, very quickly. But then we enter into this slow burn where they're like, hmm, I wonder, like, where that Pokemon who's called us to this world, where, sh where is she? What's happening to her? This mysterious Pokemon that has everyone on edge at Post Town. Oh, Archon wants to join. I guess we can give you. Huh. I think I have an Archon Pokemon in one of my fanfics. Let's see if I can quickly find their name. Ba -ba. Right? I need to get back to some of my fanfics. Probably I need to write more in general, but my brain is being a bitch. Brain is my evil. Come on along, Macy. Join the team. <laughs> Wait, you write fanfics too? Yep. I need to do more, because I have a lot of ideas. Like, I have 20 plus Pokemon Mystery Dungeon ideas alone. Last I counted, I have over 200 story ideas, original and fanfic, just spread across multiple, like, uh, text files. And I need to get back and do them. <gasps> it's a box! Yes! I need to get back and read a lot more of them. I just realized I didn't go to train our uh, train at the dojos before we went. Eh, darn it. I skipped dojo day. I'm going to become weak and frail. <laughs> What's your author name? Same as YouTube. Yep. Neon Icy Wings. Roundabout everywhere. In fact, my link tree, which should be linked in my the description of the YouTube stream, uh, should have links to the sites that I post most frequently to, I believe. I might need to double-check it and, like, update it, but... 
Typically, my link tree should have all the sites I'm active on at any one time. But I have so many story ideas, because right now, I'm trying to buckle down and finish an 11-chapter Mystery Dungeon short fic. That's what we have, 11 chapters. And uh, get all the chapters done, and then start uploading them, like, once a week as, like, a regular thing. Because all my other ones are super duper fuck off long. Because brain is a windbag and so am I. I ramble. I get an idea and then I ramble and then I ramble and then I ramble. Like I'll lay back and listen to music and like while pondering a certain thing. Like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And my brain will just shotgun me with an entire story idea. And that's why I have so many... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic ideas. I are, I have another one that's a one one of those ones that I could turn into like a super duper omega long fic, but I figured since it would be relatively like stock, I might turn it into a short like three chapter fanfic with just focusing on the major moments that are the highlight. And then just, like, say in the final chapters, like, hey, if you want to take this idea and fully flesh it out into a super-duper long fic, you do you. I just could not. Because, like, I have so I have too many ideas. Too many long ideas. I need to actually commit and get some out of there. You know, I just I completely began rambling and I forgot the stairs were that way. And then, of course, the, I also need to get back to my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon very, 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 very late Valentine's one-shot based off of my Explorers of Sky playthrough. There's, like, too many ideas. And then, of course, there are some of the stories that my brain is like, do we actually want to write that? Have that tied to us? Do we want to go and create, like, an alt account for that kind of story? Then there's the part of me that just says, eh, fuck it. Embrace the cringe. Do whatever I want. People go, it's like, you make that and you are cringe. And I'm just like, ha-ha. But the real cringe is you. Ha-ha. Reverse Uno card. Uh, mirror coat, bitch. You have nothing to say except in blah 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 blah. You cannot hurt me. I have become immortal by shedding my cringe for a smile of earnestness. You try to absorb me, but you cannot. My pollen is not for you. Die. Because, like, a part of, like, my... Uh, like, a lot of things just get in my brain to stop me from writing from time to time. And one of them is like, oh, is my writing even good? And then I just sit back and read, like, a YA novel. That was like, ooh, a uh, New York Times best published. And I'm just like, my writing's better than that. <laughs> I can write. I also have, like, original stories that I need to get onto and, like, make into a book and at the very least self-publish maybe through Amazon. I know Amazon is, like, horrible, terrible, evil, for especially for books. And that, like, they have this weird revenue bullshit where they're like, hey, if you publish only through us, you will, like, uh, get, like, a better revenue split or something. And then there's, like, uh, efforts to create more, like, uh, competitive and author-friendly things, but, or, like, uh, publishing deals, but that requires going through traditional publishing, which means, like, finding an agent to, and, like, shopping around to an agent, just like, hey, you want to bring on my thing? You want to, you, you want to take my book down to the publishers? 
And then a lot of them probably will be like, eh, nah. And then you'll have to also go through some of the ones that are like, ah, oh, but you have to pay me up front, even though that's not like the best practice of agents in the literary works from what I hear. And then, of course, I'd have to deal with people. And it's just like, I just want to put my book out there so people can buy it. Especially with, like, physical publishing versus digital. A lot to go into. <laughs> You'd think writing the damn book would be the hard part, but from what I hear, a lot of the times it actually turns out just trying to go along. <laughs> trying to get your book just out there and seen is a hard part. I need a Mew name. Hmm. For some reason, Brain jumped to Origin. But I guess that would be more like Arceus. But at the same time, Mew is Arceus before Arceus, so... Well, you're just in the worst place. And also, type advantage. Goodbye. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> and now Quagsire has a Vaporeon to torture. Mm, the things I'll do to you. But yeah. Like, uh, one of my major problems for writing, just to continue rambling on writing while I go through this dungeon, is I get ideas a lot. Like, full-fledged ideas. I get character arcs, I get plot beats, I get important moments, I get the beginning, I get the ending, it all comes to me. It is then connecting everything together, and, uh, like, connecting everything together making it all uncompressed because uh when it comes to like uh, all the ideas it's all very compressed where like i know roughly how the scene could go but then actually taking that information putting it onto the page in how uh, people would read it and how it comes out that's much more difficult for me for some reason and just a lot of pokemon for some reason just out to play and again i forgot to do the team attack you damn it! I keep forgetting that I can do that! That's the problem with it being a limited resource thing is like, ah, you have to build it up. And then I forget to use it. And then I tell myself, well, next time I'll use it, I'll use it on a boss, and then we get to the boss, and then I just kill it anyway. Ah! Pain, 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 pain. Fine, well, well, I guess we'll do it against you, because we can. <laughs> Just blast him away! And it heals us? After using a team attack, you won't be able to perform another one until your party becomes in sync again. Explore the dungeon and battle enemies to be able to use a team attack again. The more party members you have, the easier it is for them to become in sync. It is also easy to become in sync when you are surrounded by enemies, or if one of your party members gets low on HP. <laughs> Just this, <laughs> blasting that Pokemon to Kingdom Come. <laughs> a, a skunk tank wants me to rescue a, a Zubat in Mystery Dungeon Sky. They survived. <laughs> That's hilarious. You can never escape them. They live on. Not only in your hearts, but they live on to haunt you. Ha ha ha! Guess that we survived after all. Doo doo doo. Ah. I'm sorry, I won't be bad anymore. Many thanks for punishing the evildoers. Your reward, hmm? Also, like, another thing with writing is... 
Like, uh, my brain is an evil little shit in that it won't just allow me to create things and enjoy them a lot of the time. So if I like, ooh, I'm gonna talk, uh, like, uh, like in the Discord server that I frequent, if uh, my brain is, like, evil in the way that, like, if I ever want to talk about my stories, I post it in, like, oh, I'm going to talk about my story in the relevant, uh, the text channel. And then if, like, nobody responds, my brain decides to go, like, ah, people hate it. You're a failure. You failed to accrue people's interest. And it's like, I can't just yeah, do things. It's evil. And a save before waking up means more story! Oh boy! Being weird around... <sighs> being weird... Being weird around Post Town again, I see. But I have boxes that I want broken. It's morning, huh? I didn't have any dreams last night. Morning, Neon! You're already up? So, how about it? Any dreams? Were you able to see anything new? No, huh? Well, no need to rush things. I'm sure they'll come to you when the time is right. So, let's give it our all again today! Hmm, heat ran name? No idea. Hot shot! Or hot sauce! Good morning! Let's get out there and tackle another day! Oh, hey. Huh? Isn't that Leveny and Lillipup? What's up? I'm sorry, but I must ask your help. My son, please find Swadloon. Swadloon? Do you mean he's gone missing? Yes. He was already gone by the time I awoke this morning. At first I thought he'd just gone off to play somewhere. But when I asked his friend Lillipup, he told me Swadloon wasn't with him. When I heard that it happened uh, from Auntie Leveny, I checked all around our favorite places to play around town, but I couldn't find him. Normally I wouldn't be so worried, but everyone has been saying there's a suspicious Pokemon around town, so I just can't sit here and do nothing. Is it gonna turn out to be a Hypno? Yeah, I see why you're worried. Got it! We'll go look for him! Thank you so much. We very much appreciate your help. We'll also continue searching wherever we can. Do you, do you know anywhere else Swadloon might go? I'm guess Breezy Meadow. And in Flora Forest. What? In Flora Forest? Lillipop, you and my son have been playing in a dangerous place like in Flora Forest? I I'm sorry, Auntie Leveny. But you can find all kinds of rare things and... Well, never mind that for now. More importantly, it sounds like... In Flora Forest is the more dangerous of the two, right? Yeah. Then we'll go check out the forest. You should go look in Breezy Meadow. Of course. I'm sorry for the trouble, but we're counting on you. Interesting. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Neon, it's up to you to decide who will go with you into in Flora Forest. Anyone left behind will just have to keep searching around here. Good plan. We've got all we've all got to pitch in. Neon, let's pick a party and head out. We're going to go to Inflora Forest and find Swadloon. Well, first things first, we're going to go train up. Nope, they're still growing. Train my vine whips so I might pleasure lock even more. Always the vine whip, so it can become ungodly powerful. I wonder, like, what the, like, limit is in terms of levels. I could see it. Considering it's Roman numerals, I have no idea. Bob. Ba, 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 ba. Level up that dual chop. The power of the dual chopper. And quickly check out 
the town because we can. Hmm, do you have anything to say about the missing kid? Hmm, nope, nothing at all. Oh, hey, you. Yeah, and you'll decide who goes in the party, right? We're going into Flora Forest to find Swadloon. I heard it. That way Swadloon has gone missing. I'll be joining the search, of course. I'm sorry as can be to ask, but the two of you can handle in Flora Forest for us, eh? It's indeed kind of you to help. We literally have paradise right across from town. And a new traveling salesman is here. Sales, sales, salesman, salesman. Break my boxes. I'm so bored! Someone give me something to bust up! I'm a box buster. Bring treasure boxes. A light box and a heavy box. All right, watch this. Whoa! Impressive, right? Here you go. More gold. You've still got a treasure box. I can smell it on you. Come on, let me open it. The heavy box, right? All right, watch this. Whoa! Impressive, right? Here you go. The reunion cape. I think I have a lot of those. Customers haven't been coming around lately, and I'm a bit lonely. But that's why I have to remember to smile. Again, don't... Don't you dare, like, foreshadow the, the emotional destruction of my boy. It has been too long, old friend. I have returned from a fine training session. I attempted to navigate a very fearsome dungeon in progress is difficult, but I was able to truly hone my abilities, and thus I am satisfied with the journey. On another note, though I've been gone some time, I feel as if there are fewer Pokemon in Post Town these days. Has something happened? There's a monster lurking about. And who are you? In paradise, you can upgrade shops. Yep, 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 yep. Welcome to Ground Dojo. I don't think we have any ground type moves I care to, like, train. As, hopefully as the game goes along and things get better, we'll get more Pokemon to show up. That would be nice. You think I'm the kind of chump that'd be scared of by some strange Pokemon? Hey, I ain't scared of nothing, see? Goodness sakes, Neon, it's a disaster. My home, the stone on my back, it will surely crumble any day now. Cracks keep po cropping up all over the place. Oh goodness, this is a bad state to be in. Oh, why are there never any perfect stones around when you need one? Goodness me! Yeah, if they went so far as to send out a notice and all that, this must be one bad Pokemon we're talking about. These warnings about suspicious Pokemon sure do make you a bit uneasy, don't they? I heard the news. Swadloon has gone missing. Oh no, to be wandering alone at a time like this. I'm also counting on you. Please find that boy for all our sakes. I'm gonna guess this is where the third boss fight's gonna show up, probably. <laughs> I am naming Moltres Chicken. What do I name Articuno? Hmm. I don't know. At last! A real life customer! That this is my chance! <laughs> I almost feel sorry if I don't buy anything from you. You have two reunion capes, my dude. Well, I'm sorry, my dude. <laughs> like, if any game would have passive-aggressive shopkeeps, I would think that it would be this one. Where it's like, you look through his wares, but don't buy anything. It's like, oh yes, fine. Uh, take my all the time that you want looking through all my wares, but uh, don't buy anything. That's fine. <laughs> if you don't buy anything, like, <laughs> passive-aggressive shopkeep would be perfectly fine in this game. Oh, yeah. And, uh, put our money away. Watch this be the time that a Kecleon shop shows up in the dungeon. We haven't seen one in a bit. But I just know I'm gonna put all my money away. Then a Kecleon shop's gonna crop up there. Where will you go? In Flora Forest! 
Oh, yeah, I do not know what to name an Articuno. Ooh. This is some music. But, like, uh, a name for Articuno. My brain says sleet. Powder. Because powder snow. Are you ready to go on ahead? This is, this is some music. And we've got new tile set! Ah, this looks so nice! And there's shadows that are moving! I like this. I like this a lot. Every time we, like, enter a new location. And then there's that little bit of, like, uh, uncertainty and mysteriousness in the music that's playing. Because it's kind of cheery and like, ah, light. But then it has that little bit of worry to it. Ah, you survived, eh? No, you didn't. Throw a stun seed at enemies to petrify them, preventing them from moving at all, however... A petrified enemies will be able to move again if they are hit with the effects of an item or a move. So only use it when you need to run away from an enemy. A swinob, eh? Die. Well, you're not all that scary after all. I guess you can join the team. Hmm. I don't know why my brain says swam, so you're gonna be swam now. Go along, swam. We're never gonna <laughs> we're never gonna use you. Go back and search <laughs> for uh, Swadloon elsewhere. <laughs> He's like, I've never met that Pokemon in my life. <laughs> Gets thrown, <laughs> yeeted <laughs> to paradise. Whoa! And a new floor configuration! New dungeon. New dungeon. And the kids have been just exploring through here? That doesn't seem safe at all. Especially if there's Swinub wandering around. Are we gonna find Swadloon, like, trapped in ice? And my brain just went, what if we find Swadloon and he's dead? That would be dark. <laughs> like, imagine you're playing a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. And it's like the normal stuff, like there's a little bit of darkness and nihilism, you know, the basic stuff. And then like a character like goes missing, like, oh hey, he's missing, could you help us look? You look, and then you find his body. Just straight up, dead. I think that would be <laughs> horrifying. And I would honestly love if the game did that. I would be, like, horrified, terrified of a Mystery Dungeon game actually taking that leap. But also knowing, like, a Mystery Dungeon game would be more like, Oh, no, he's been frozen in stone. And then, obviously, there's a way to bring him back. So what you do is you freeze him in stone to be like, Oh, yeah, and we're gonna save him. And then you have somebody shatter the statue. <laughs> That's what you do. Hey, Game Freak, Pokemon Company, Spike Chunsoft, hire me. Ooh. Ah, interesting. 
This is like a hub area, I guess. And a level up for lock. Huzzah! And we'll fight you as well, because we can die. So there's like three paths, it looks like. Top right. Middle left. And bottom left. Which seems to be yellow, uh, blue flower, red flower, yellow flower. I guess we'll go blue first. Are you ready to go ahead? How dare you stun spore me, you motherfucker! Hello, Crow Gunk. Didn't know you survived here. What's a frog doing in the forest? That's illegal. Now die! <laughs> Scary face all you want. Die. I love being able to just go, you're one hit from death. Slam my face into you. All right, I will say I'm getting a little uh, worried about the Pokemon selection because it seems that we're running into a lot of the same ones from the dungeons that we've already been doing. It seems less like, ooh, each dungeon has like a, a unique selection and more like, they throw in one or two new Pokemon and maybe alternate because like Odino only seems to show up in that one dungeon but like Blitzel Litwick, Crow Gunk, all these other Pokemon, we keep running into them but like Cottony and Swinub, they're new oh hey, a Sparkly that I missed And I got an escape orb. I think the game's telling me something. Ooh, story time. I've come pretty far in. <sighs> yeah, this looks like a spot for finding something good. I sure hope there's something. Time to start looking. You're gonna get kidnapped, kid. Horror movie. Huh? That dirt is kind of piled up there. It looks like... It looks like maybe there's something buried here. I guess it's time to do some digging. Is it a dead body? Well, not cool shit. <sighs> wow, a red gem. This is perfect. If I bring this home, I'm sure she'll love it. Let's see. And what are these? They got some kind of strange patterns, that's for sure. Aha! Uh -huh. Great horror movie time. You better not have killed the kid. I know I was joking. Ha ha ha. Wouldn't it be funny if like a mystery dungeon game had the balls to kill somebody mid story and have it like happen on screen. You find their body. But still. I do not actually want Kid to die. It's one of those things where it's like, it would be cool to happen, but I don't want it to, like, happen. You know? Oh, I can learn a new move. What's the new move? I don't really care to. It can't even be leveled up. So I'll forget. Goodbye, Leech Seed. You're not really worth learning. Do -do -do. Do -do -do.
I do kind of find it interesting that there's like those little alcoves. Just like everywhere. God, there's so many little offshoots. Quickly you see where this connects, just cause. Any sparklies. Does not look like it. But yeah, again, I really do enjoy the like varied layout of the rooms from time to time. Even though the rooms themselves seem to be like uh reused a lot. It is nice that they're not just like squares anymore. They actually have, like, variants to them, which is cool. You dare try to kill me? And then Pursuit. The guitar reminds me of, like, I don't know, maybe old school Warcraft, as in the RTS, or maybe uh, Diablo? Like that guitar during that specific segment. Like, I know it's just a guitar, normal guitar, but still. <laughs> I named Groudon Ground On and Kyogre Kyoshin. That kind of works. A fun little ha ha ha. I also like that a lot of the dungeons seem to have their own quirks. Like, this one likes to have dead ends, it seems. Where I'll, like, go along in the dungeons, and then, like, not even, like, a dead-end room, but, like, just a dead-end tunnel. It likes to have those a lot, which, I don't know, I, I, that's kind of cool. But there's like little quirks like that built into these dungeons. Oh wait, no, I remember what this specific guitar section reminds me of. Dwarf Fortress! AKA, losing is fun, the game! And I just for- I- I just remember that like uh, the kid is in horrible danger. But I wonder what he found. He found a red gem and, like, two badges. Or at least they look like badges. God, I wish I could zoom out. Hmm, red flowers. Oh, hey, sparkly. Mogo. Oh, no, I thought that was a gold, but stun seed, hey. But this looks like the similar place that, uh, the kid came out. Ah, there's the gold bar. Hmm, blue flower. I wonder if this is like a maze at all. God, now my brain is going into overtime. It's like, you can only save him if you pick the right choices. Red or blue? I guess I'll go blue again? Maybe. Then again, like the red, uh, but it's like it doesn't matter which one I actually choose, I think. Let's just go blue. My paranoia is eating at me. Like, I don't think I could handle a your choices matter mystery dungeon game. Where it's like, you need to choose the right path to save this Pokemon, and if you fail, they die. I'm not sure if I could actually handle that. Like, I, I managed to get through Mass Effect because you could cheese Mass Effect. 
Mass Effect is just like, get your Paragon points up. And then later on, they decide to throw choices at you that are actual choices. Yeah, slightly disappointed by the Paragon system of Mass Effect. Because it is mostly just get the, like, uh, prerequisite good number or bad number for the action you want to do. Meaning that if you wanted to do a specific action at a specific point, you might very well have to reload a save far, far back to then be able to go grind more points to be able to do the action you want. Come on, game. Do not hurt me. You dare paralyze me. Oh, it's a box! Yes! It is the power of the box! You leech seed all you want, you still die. And tackle was upgraded. It's power unbelievable! Ba -da, da -da -da. You dare you stun spore. You soon will die. I do enjoy the leveling up of skills. Or like moves. It's such a handy little cool thing considering that they took away like uh the basic attack leveling with you. So I like it. I like that they didn't just take away the basic attack and leave you with nothing. I feel like it must have been a hot day. I've been drinking a lot of water lately. You gotta stay hydrated. The, the weather ain't gonna help you. Unless maybe, uh, unless it rains. Oh, hey, evil box place. Nope. I don't even have a key. If I find a key, I'm not coming to you. Oh, I thought he... I, I didn't realize that he died that easily. Am I becoming too powerful? Am I becoming God? Worship me! Very, very small dungeon. We've come pretty far in. Hey, Neon, over there! Doesn't that look like a clearing up ahead? Let's check it out! That's very bad. The red gem is gone, so are the badges. Hey, it's Swadloon! So this is where you ran off to. Ah! Whoa, sorry! We didn't mean to sneak up on you. W what do you want? We're here to bring you home. Let's head back to town. Bring me home? Well, I was just about to go home myself. But I come all here all the time, mister. I've never needed any help before. I don't really see what the big deal is. You know there's a notice circulating around town, don't you? A notice that says not to go out. So when your mom couldn't find you, she was worried sick. You shouldn't put her through too much trouble, you hear? Yeah, okay, mister. They say there's some suspicious Pokemon who's spot been spotted near town. That means this place isn't safe either. But, well, thank goodness you didn't actually run into that dangerous Pokemon. Come on, let's get you home. I don't like it. I think he's possessed by like a ghost type, maybe? I don't know. Weirdness. Weirdness, weirdness. I don't like it. M Mom. Oh, Swadloon, are you alright? I was so worried. I'm sorry, Mom. I want to get you this. Oh, uh, but at least he... The, the, the red gem. Is this? It's a red stone. It looks like a real gem or something, right? Isn't it pretty? It's your birthday after all, Mom, so I wanted to get you something. Oh, you foolish, sweet boy. Thank you. I was worried too, you know. Why do you have to go off on your own like that, huh? You could have just told me you were going to find your mom a present. I totally would have gone with you. Sorry, Lillipop. 
I like the little animations made for that. Okay, so maybe some something weird is going on because he was jump scared by a monster. Or like jump scared by something. But he seems to be genuine here. But he didn't remember running into one. Like, I don't know. Neon, Locke, I owe you so much for today. Thank you both so very much. Please accept this. I know it isn't much. <gasps> Power manual! And a blue key. And a lot of money. Well, then we'll be going home now. I'm sorry for making everybody worry. Thanks, Neon and Locke. All's well that ends well, huh? I'm glad nothing happened to Swadloo. They're real good friends, aren't they, those two kids? Yeah, watching the two of them kind of makes everything seem a bit better, huh? It's nice, huh? Having family and friends like that. Family and friends. Now that I think about it, I wonder where Locke's family is. I've never really considered it before. Huh. Game. <laughs> Game. <laughs> and we're saving again, which means more story. Oh. Don't you dare, game. Don't you dare. And the, the moon is gone. Hey, Neon. You still awake? I just can't seem to sleep in this humidity. Neon. You know, when I was watching Leveny and the others today, it made me think. You've got friends and family too, right? In your world, Neon. The human world. How do you think they're feeling now? Are you all close? I... I don't... have anyone like that. Parents, brothers, or sisters. Ouch! <laughs> I've been alone as long as I can remember. I never had any friends, either. I wanted them, but I couldn't make any. The relationships between Pokemon just aren't very good in this world. If we could just get along a little better. But everyone's so quick to pick fights. Even Pokemon who seem like friends on the surface really aren't. No one says what they mean. It's all just lies and lip service. I just can't live like that. That's why I've never had any friends up until now. I was probably no different from Verizon, now that I think about it. But you know, at least I never stopped looking. Not just for some superficial alliance, but for someone I could trust with the real me, a true friend. I thought, how great it'd be to actually do something real with that kind of friend. Like making this kind of paradise. And that's why every day here is really so much fun for me. Thank you, Neon. I hope these days will continue. I think I can finally fall asleep now. Guess you already did, huh, Neon? I'm gonna go to sleep too. See you tomorrow, Neon. Good night. Oh, that's sweet. I hope that game. Baha. No. Why you have creepy cam? Oh, okay. Fainting. <laughs> you dare hit me with the emotional speech from the partner? Going, I have never had anyone my entire life. I hope these days can continue. And at the same time, kind of wondering if we have family or friends that we're missing. Game, you are punching me in the gut already. I am afraid of what might happen. Oh, no. <laughs> Remember in Explorers of Sky where Grovile was like... Like near the end. And he was saying... Since we're messing with time and we're from the future, we disappear. And only, and like, but we can't tell the partner, we can't tell Silas because if he knew, it would break him. And this partner is already kind of gleaning 
we might want to go home and might worry about that. <laughs> the next morning. Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. All right, what story happened today? Neon, lock! Amulga, what's up? He's here, in Post Town. The suspicious Pokemon. What? You mean, the suspicious Pokemon that Happy sent a notice about that suspicious Pokemon? Well, I don't know about that. It seems like this Pokemon collapsed on his way here to Post Town. Collapsed? Yeah, he's been taken to the inn already and that Signora is looking after him. I got a glance at him, at least. He didn't look all that scary to me. So basically, there's no guarantee that he's even a bad Pokemon. Yeah, but he's not far from around here, and no one's ever seen him before, so... It all seems pretty suspicious. Girder's already assuming the worst. He started treating this new Pokemon like a bad guy right away. It's not pretty. Got it. We'll swing by the inn, then. Yeah, you do that. I'll go get the others together. I like that we have our own little posse building up. Neon, let's go see how things are going at the inn. But yeah, game. Don't hurt my heart. I ask of you. My heart could not take much more. I still want to know what happened in the forest. The kid, like, acted a little weird. But not too weird. It's like his memory got wiped. Because, again, those badges were missing. Because he went in, he found the red stone, but lost the badges. Time to double chop. So that it becomes uber powerful. We become God. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And you have nothing to say. See what the shop has to say, though. I doubt I have anything, like, enough to buy any of the cool things, but not many cool things in there anyway. <laughs> Girder's gone. You can now go to Breezy Meadow, or Tempting Path. <laughs> Why is it called Tempting Path? And why is the box gone? Whoa, there's so many Pokemon here. Excuse me, could you let us through? I'm sorry. <laughs> Very important Pokemon coming through. An Umbreon! Ooh! Don't you play innocent with me, Bob! I want to hear some straight answers! What kind of plot are you brewing coming to our town like this? No, I, I never. Ugh. Girder, he's still in pain. Stop being so ridiculous. Uh, but, but Swana, he could just be pretending to be hurt, you know? And once everyone's let the guard down, that that's when he'll strike. Don't be absurd. He isn't you, after all. Sorry. And this is the Pokemon that collapsed? Aye, that's right, Sonny. I was just out for my morning stroll. Uh, can I imagine me shark finding a poor hurt Pokemon lying there in the road? I don't know. He doesn't look like a bad guy, but... Well, well, he's not from around here, right? So we don't have a sure. Sorry for the wait, everybody. I brought Dunsparce and Verizian, too. Oh, Umbreon. You know him? You know him. Umbreon, what happened to you? What's his condition? He'll pull through. He's been injured, but it mostly just seems to be exhaustion at this point. Give him some time and some rest, and I think he'll be fine. 
Are you sure? Thank goodness. Verizian, you know this Pokemon? I know him. His name is Umbreon. He's a dungeon researcher. A dungeon researcher? Yes. Oh, hey, the personality quiz music. Umbreon researches the mysterious powers present in this land, including the dungeons. The research That research was his life, especially his investigations of the Great Glacier. The Great Great Glacier? Do you remember what I told you before? When we saw that mirage? That I'd seen the Great Glacier up close from a mountain on the seaside? That's when I met Umbreon. Ho oh, ho, so that's the truth of it. Here we were all blathering on the boot nothing. Seems there's nothing to worry about if it is this here lad. Fine, sorry. But Umbreon wasn't the only one I met there either. He had a partner, Espeon. <laughs> Umbreon and Espeon were investigating the Great Glacier together, you know. A partner? Then where's that Espeon or whatever now? Ah, Umbreon and Espeon. If I remember correctly, I do believe that from what I like read about, in this game they have like a brother-sister relationship, but one of like the western trailers were made like implying that Umbreon and Espeon are actually a couple. Probably because the Pokemon company like freelanced out the trailer making to another company. And so they only had, like, certain information to go on. They're like, ah, Numbreon and Espeon working together. <laughs> Maybe they're in relationship. Uh, yes, but wrong relationship. <laughs> Wait, in Rescue Team, what did you evolve your Eevee into? An Umbreon, actually. But my Umbre my, uh, <laughs> the Rescue Team Eevee is female. Then again, who knows? <laughs> Maybe, Maybe Rescue Team Neon decided to uh, transition. I have tons of questions, but I guess the only one of the answers is this Umbreon guy right here. I don't think you'll be getting any answers today, then. But I'll let you know as soon as Umbreon is up and moving. Got it. Then I guess we'd better head back to paradise, huh? Yeah. Well, let's go get some requests done from the board for now. Don't worry. I'll look after Umbreon and see that he gets all he needs. I don't think he'll be up for any interviews today, though. I'll let you know oh, as soon uh, Why do I hitch like that? I'll let you know as soon as he's up and moving again. <sighs> but yeah! Evolutions! Aye! I heard you found our wee swan loan for us. I owe you my thanks. Our heartiest thanks to you both. So that Pokemon I carried into town wasn't a bad guy? I think we should still be careful, though. I saw a dark-colored Pokemon being carried up to one of the rooms upstairs. One of the rooms? There's only one room. You think that was him? He didn't really seem that bad or suspicious or anything. So that's the one known as Umbreon, you think? But what do you think he's doing here, eh? Well, running till he dropped, apparently. Well, at least he wasn't a truly suspicious Pokemon. <laughs> Don't forget Basculin. <laughs> Dommy Mommy voice Basculin. It seems that the individual who was brought to town, they weren't a villainous Pokemon after all. But if that black Pokemon is not the suspicious Pokemon, then does that mean that another suspicious Pokemon is still around? What's that? I heard a peculiar Pokemon appear, so I heard here, but that wasn't the deal now, was it? Why are you angry? Why are you so angry? I'm glad Umbreon seems to be all right. I think we can leave him in Swanna's care for now. We should be focusing on getting requests done. But what if somebody, like, rallies a mob and they're like, actually, what if he is evil? Ah, she smiled just now. I saw it. So cute. Hey, you there. What are you grinning about, huh? Are you laughing at me? On the box, Buster. Bring me treasure boxes and I'll bust them open for you. The nifty box, right? All right, watch this. Woo! Impressive, right? Here you go, the Max Elixir. You've still got a treasure box. I can smell it on you. Come on, let me open it. The light box, right? All right, watch this. Woo! Impressive, right? Here you go. You get the gold bar. <laughs> hello, I'm back. Hello, hello. <laughs> well, a, a suspicious Pokemon collapsed in town, and it turns out to be an Umbreon. 
Some people in chat are assuming that it might be my Umbreon from Rescue Team. I heard the Pokemon that was carried to the inn is okay. I'm so glad. I like that uh, Sinchino is like just nice, doesn't seem to have any suspicions in her. I've heard a tale that a suspicious Pokemon has been loitering around our fair town. Could it be that the suspicious Pokemon is actually me? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Considering that you're supposed to evolve from a human, wouldn't be that surprised. Now let's see if we can find uh, Swadloon. See if he's being weird. Neon, luck. Thanks for the other day, you know. Morning, Neon. Morning, Lock. Ah, uh, Neon, Lock. Thank you so much for all that you did for us the other day. My, though, I was quite surprised to see the crowds in the town square. It appears that it was not a suspicious Pokemon after all. What's your opinion of this stone? Don't you think it would be perfect as my new home? But this stone, it's so tough that I can't pry it loose. <laughs> Goodness sakes. <laughs> what a poor life for you. A poor, poor life. Oh, hey. Trubbish. I thought that everyone's anger might have cooled by now. So I'm back again, Trub Trub. What? A suspicious Pokemon? Surely they don't mean me, Trub Trub. Oh, but I feel like everyone will be suspicious of me if I go into town now, Trub Trub. <laughs> the invasive thoughts are getting to him. I could make more land if I wanted, but I want to, like, unlock the other ones first, maybe. Do, do, do. We can make a sunken treasure if we wanted. Well, I guess we'll go make a sunken treasure. Because we can. Oh, wait. Yeah, we want to go here for the sunken treasure. But I forget if I, like... Ba ba ba. Cow. Like, uh, what's the word? If I went and. Oh, I don't have the money for it. I'm a fool. Because if I remember, I set it up to be like the right stick on my controller. You know, of my totally official normal 3DS. Oh, Neon and look. Let's really throw ourselves into it today. I'm kind of worried about that Umbreon guy, but. Well, let's just go and do our jobs for now, okay? Come on, Neon. Let's get on some quests for the bulletin board. I only need a little bit of money. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 Da <gasps> Power manual, how could I forget about you? <laughs> the ridiculously normal 3DS. And Quagsire has nothing to say. I wonder if Scraggy has something to say. Then we can sh we should go talk to Girder as well. Nope. <laughs> Scraggy swaggy moves, you know. No, nothing else to say. Then we shall go build it and see if my diddly D is actually working. Because I, I keep forgetting to test it, so I might as well test it now. Of which I'll use my magical mind powers to save the state of the game. Totally normal mind powers. Nothing else here that's going on. Sunken treasure? You want to build it? All right, come on, you two slackers. Yes, boss. Uh, 
At this rate, Nintendo will find out that Neon isn't using a 3DS. He's actually using a Nintendo 2DS! It's actually the 1DS. Would you look at that? It's done! We built your sunken treasure for you. Oh, a star you? Star me? <laughs> okay, cool! I've yet to run into a star me. This is neat. We built you so many facilities that it looks like we're gonna run out of spice. We better prepare some new land. Alright, I feel like I could do some real preparing now. What can prepare a new type of land? And my clearing skills has gone up. I think I've come up with something new. Yeah, that's right, I can prepare land to be fertile forest now. Wanna try? Well, when you wanna prepare some land, just get the materials and stop by. And that's not all. My skills as a carpenter have gotten even better. Now I can change the color of the facilities we've built together. Just tell me what color you'd like and I'll have it done in no time. Alright, that's cool. This really is, <laughs> like, sim game now. Find treasure hidden in the water, yay! Sunken treasure, yay! I'll dive into the water. Please tilt the Nintendo 3DS system to lead me where I... Speaking of treasure. Especially, let's get back treasure boxes because red treasure is inside them. I forgot to do the info first. Oh, dear t Nintendo 3DS in both hands and gently tilt to move around. Nope. I did not properly do it. I'm a fool. Because I know that I had it, like... Potentially, but we'll quickly just pop a ball. There we go. We'll still build it. Because we can. But I'll just need to. What's the word? I forget the word. Ba ba ba. I'm trying to think of the word here. It's just uh, completely avoiding me. It's not calculate, but like make it make it go. But I'll definitely do some testing because I know that there's like an option to like uh, map it and stuff. But I'll just uh, I'll do that after the stream, and then we'll open the stream and do that maybe unless things happen. Yeah, calibrate, that's the word. Thank you. Did you know that, like, last week, I had, like, spent, like, 15 minutes trying to think of the word agency as in, like, a character had agency? Just sometimes words just avoid me. You know me, a writer. Now, let's see. What materials do we need for the... For coloring fields? Interesting. We specifically need pigments. But interesting. We can make it for a lot of money. We might as well do it then. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess we'll come up here... I still not ready. You fool. Did we train today? Ah, uh, yeah, we already did. Just wanted to make sure, just in case. What if I left my 3DS on for 24 hours? Would it be a new day then? Oh, but first I need to get the money to build the next section. Take a thousand pokey bucks. So we can prepare new land. Obviously, we want it to be a fertile forest. I'm honestly surprised that we didn't run into a boss fight for, like, fa saving Swadloon. Oh, 
All right, it's all prepared. Go check it out when you've got a sec. There's a little gift for you to celebrate all this preparing. Go on, take it. Ancient soil, heavy lumber, reflective alloy, unbreakable rock. Well, not so unbreakable if it's like exists. You can have even more Pokemon join as your teammates. Your harem grows. Ba 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 ba. Oh, I just love the environment. It's like a a friend area from Rescue Team, but in 3D. From what I hear, the the Rescue Team DX like uh, Bubba Buzz are kind of disappointing because there aren't really friend areas. Wait, Rescue Minchino herself? From the tempting path? Maybe it's, like, not our... P it's weird. Minchino, somebody, Minchino, Minchino, from Vaporeon. Like, we know a Minchino. And I don't really need any specific item. So I guess... Uh, I'm, in I'm interested. Let's go to the tempting path, I guess. I'm probably horribly butchering that name, by the way. Let me quickly check my items. Not companion mode. Damn it. Welcome to companion mode. Neon and Locke partners on a dungeon delving adventure. However, while Neon and the party are deep in their journey, they've left some friends behind in paradise. Have you ever wondered what those friends do while the adventuring party is away? Well, in companion mode, you can find out. Separate from Neon Neon's adventures, you can play with the Pokemon left in paradise. Take control of these Pokemon and enjoy a completely separate adventure from Neon's story. Switch to companion mode? No. I do like that that has like a little introduction. I meant to go to items. Mm. Oh, get the power manual! Damn it. I think because we trained, we can't use it. So we're going to quickly deposit you and hopefully remember to use you. Or else you'll be like the running gag. Of like, haha, the power manual, it's never going to be used. I recognize this music. Da 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 I guess you can join. Um, I've never watched it, but I guess I'll name you... Adorabad. Or is this music from this game? It's good music either way. Yeah, I think it's from this game, I'm a fool. And Vinipede wants to join as well. Sure. Um. I uh, the first thing that came to mind was Zerg. Whether from StarCraft or Buzz Light, you you are a Zerg now. The Rescue Team DX friend areas were menus with really pretty watercolor pieces, but not areas you could walk around. And most people would have liked the friend areas you could walk around, but uh, the artwork is still pretty fine. Meh. Kind of understandable, but at the same time... Like, uh... I feel like if they went and did, like, a rescue team... Like, I don't know. If they did another game that had, like, quote-unquote, friend areas... But it wasn't explicitly like Rescue Team Remake or a Rescue Team 2. Then I think people would have been more understanding that it didn't have proper friend areas. It's just that it's a remake of Rescue Team that didn't fully remake everything. So I can kind of understand people being annoyed that 
they went and remade a game. But one of the cool aspects of that game, they decided to axe. Sure, it's just a minor thing. But at the same time, little details go a long way. Little details go a long, long way. Though I myself am not all that, like, disappointed when it, for when I ever get there. Personally, like, it being a, like, menu probably works well for me more than anything. Because actually navigating them to find the Pokemon you want to join your team can be a little bothersome sometimes. But, again, little details go a long way. So, I'm basically in the camp of, I think it would have been cool if they did, I understand why they didn't, but I also understand why people would be upset that they didn't. It's a whole, it's a circle. My critiques of the game is but a circle. He also used it as an excuse to slot in references to the original sprite work. I appreciate that. That's cool. I think that's neat. Because, hey, they could have just had it be like Pokemon's names, but they actually put a bit of effort in and made it so that, like, the original artwork was there. The sprites of Rescue Team, I, be I believe, if I understand the word correctly. A small floor. Well, you're gonna die. I didn't even have to use my pursuit. Protect all you want. The slumber orb is mine. Now I'll put everyone to sleep and steal all their left shoes! Bye-bye. We annihilated him. You can try and swift, but you will fail. <laughs> and then you brought your friend in. Ooh, a level up for who? For Locke! He wants to learn a new move. He wants to learn Slash. It's basically a better scratch, just with less power points. I guess we can lose it. Just need to level up that there Slash. Oh, it's a box! I will become the box king! No one will be able to destroy me! The power of boxes will be mine! Get dual chopped, idiot! You can draw your defense cow, but you're still gonna fucking die. Why 
what V-Wave is today? Oh, Grass Day. I am the one who shall be praised on this, the Grass V-Wave Day! Everybody do a little dance. Ha-ha! <laughs> Now my brain went, what if there was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game that, like, actually had, like, a mystery as its main story? Like an actual, you gotta solve it, clues and everything mystery. When is the bird type V-Wave? Where is our beloved Missy No cameo? It'd be almost hilarious if, like, a Missy No actually appeared in a Mystery Dungeon game as, like, a reference. Hello, Whimsicott. I don't think I've ever run into you in a Pokemon game before. Still gonna kill ya. And now I'm the one to level up. But I don't get a new... Uh, new uh, attack. My... I only got, uh... Leech Seed earlier, and it was bad. Well, that's disturbing. We must kill them, take all their money, because they're taking the money from us. I guess I'll smack you until that Endure goes away. Oh, Snake went away. How dare you? Die. I was wondering why my attacks were doing so good. Probably because it's V-Wave Day! Pursuit! Another box for me! Wah! Wanna buy a box? Just a conga line of idiots coming to die. I think it's a fo the fog is a detour that needs a certain type of Pokemon. Hmm. From the electric buzz stuff behind the fog, I thought it would be like an electric type is needed. But I do not know. Either that or I need the detour shop that I've never gotten. I believe this is a nine-floor dungeon. They dare take our 86 gold. They must be eliminated. We'll take their Orenberry. Now they'll never have enough medicine to save them all. Hey, that's only for us to use, not for you. 102 gold? Give me! That belongs to me, you stupid motherfucker. You dare slap me with mud, I kill you! A Mulga leveled up! And he wants to learn a new move. He wants to learn Shockwave! It hits without fail! Thunder Shock versus 
Shock Wave. It could paralyze the enemy. Hmm. Meanwhile, it's just this is a sure shot. Quick Attack is nice to have because he shares it with them. Pursuit for that, so it's basically either... Uh... Basically, I think Thundershock is slightly better. Because it can still be leveled up. It has a chance to paralyze. This is just a sure hit. So yeah, I don't think uh, Shockwave's all that good. Where's our, like, Kirby-level disturbing mystery dungeon character. Like we fight them, their eye just rips out and starts attacking us. Alright, just a whole army of dudes. You dare? Die. Doesn't help that I've been reading a mystery dungeon fanfic that has a very creepy whimsicott in it. Da 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 ba da ba ba da 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 I just, I really like this game. The environments are so cool. Look for sparklies? No sparklies. Hello, Venipede. You have come to die. Damn it. I forgot that's what protect us. And then it went away. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. You have chosen poorly, die. And my vine whip got upgraded. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I sneeze in twos. Where's the biblically accurate tree? Where's evil Xerneas when you need him? And another one! Huh. And this is the same exact layout, too. Interesting. Well, I guess I'll just smack you. I'll give... Lock a chance to level up his skills. You dance in my life, die. Your money is now mine. I don't think I have the money to buy from you. Well, maybe we do? Damn it. Basically, when I get the funds, I need to start carrying at least 1,500 with me when we come in here. I need to get those vitamins. You practice the leech seed. I bash you with my head. And now I can get everyone drunk. The ultimate party will begin. Yeah, 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 you use protect. Ha ha ha, you're a very funny man. Die. How dare you survive? Maybe if we get enough money on this floor, we can get drugs. Nope, just a dead end with nothing. But that guy got fucking annihilated. The elemental monkey was murdered. And that is why he will never leave the 3DS. Or at least, like, his evolution will never leave the, <laughs> the 3DS. And apparently because 
at least one of them is like the least favorite Pokemon of all time, according to polling. Maybe they never will get off the 3DS. Wait a minute, did my brain? My brain just did a brain. I thought there might have been a sparkly. Prepare to die, little one. Are you prepared for the kind? Are you prepared for the kind of death you've earned, little man? We've arrived on the floor. I'll annihilate this one. Yeah. Da da da. Da da da. Da 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 ra da 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 da. Oh hey, level up for Verizion. And you want to learn a new move? What is the move you want to learn, Helping Hand? Boost allies attack and special attack like eh. I guess it could be helpful, but that means that I have to micromanage your moves because you might use it. And then you just keep using it. And there's also the likelihood if I give it to you, you might never use it. And plus, you can't level it up. But at least she's learning. She wants to be helpful to others now. Ah, that's why you're the child version. Me forget. I just like, oh, I know the end of that name. Thank you for saving me. Now get out of here, Brett. No. We don't want to escape. We want to keep murdering. My power. Knows no bounds and no mercy. This is just the get rid of your ills corner. It's all that it is. Oh, you've been stared at by a stranger. Come here to cure your ills by stepping onto a platform. Huzzah! We did it. Thank you for saving Minchino for me. I'll give you this as a reward. 250. Lustrous metal. Fresh herb. Sleep seed. And 60 points. Paradise rank has reached gold. Confagrius is coming to kill us. And what's more, you receive a prize for raising your rank. Your bag can now hold up to 48 things. You can now build a new type of facility. A bear tick slide. You can now build a new type of facility in Courage Field. You can win. You feel great. You can do this. You can now build the training field. You can now build the swap shop. You can now build a new type of facility, the Oodles of Orbs. You can now build a new type of facility, the Ground Dojo. You can now build the Ice Dojo. And you received a Joy Seed and a Life Seed and a Citrus Berry and a Fire Gift. And five gold bars! The next morning. Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. And unless story happens when we step out the door, no story will happen today. Story's happening today. Hey! Umbreon's, Umbreon's up and moving now. Really? 
Yeah, only problem is... He says he's got to get out of Post Town right away. What? Of course we told him not to push it, but he just ain't listening to a word anybody says. So this Ignora told me to come and get you. Got it. I'll get everyone together. Dude, you are not ready. <laughs> hey, fella! You shouldn't push yourself yet! But if I don't make it in time... Ah! Come on, listen to reason. It's just too soon to be moving around like that. Rest up a bit longer, okay? Umbreon. Verizian. Seems like I owe you for clearing up the misunderstanding about me. I've got to thank you for that. And while I'd love to stay in chat, I've got a prior appointment. Seems to you have a reason to be in such a rush. <laughs> But you're not getting anywhere in that condition. Umbreon, why don't you explain what's going on? We might be able to help you, you know? And that's true enough. Fine. Let me start from the beginning. All right. Lord Ta We don't even get to learn! We don't even get to learn! How dare you? What? You ran all the way to Post Town because you were being attacked by some strangers? Oh, this music again. That's right. They attacked Espion and me out of the blue. We both ran off in different directions. I was lucky enough to end up here, but Espion, she's probably still on the run from those monsters. I've got to go. I have to find her. So that's why. But why do you think you'd someone would have attacked you two? My guess is... We were probably after these. Hey, it's those things! Are these cards? Is this your first time seeing them? They're called intercards. See, everyone knows that the land around here has unusually high mysteriosity. But even the mysterious power in these kinds of areas does obey some rules. It follows certain paths, what we call ley lines. Okay, we getting some lore. The flow of these ley lines affects and determines the mysteriosity in an area. Once we realized that, dungeon researchers like Espion and I began to wonder, what if we could use the power of those ley lines for ourselves? That's where the intercards come in. As for what the intercards actually do, well... <laughs> hey, why are you all asleep? Huh? We were sleeping? I guess so. It was like some uh, awesomely powerful spell was cast over us, like being hypnotized. I, for one, had a lovely dream. Now I feel all refreshed. Uh, sorry. I guess my explanation was a little on the technical side. Seeing it for yourself is probably the easiest way to understand it. Let's go outside. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, go on, you two. Help him out. Yes, boss. We'll make it crutches. Come on. We've got you. Are you up to walking, Umbreon? Yeah, sorry about this. Whoa, what's going on up here? I didn't kill myself, but it seems the stranger is about to show us a real treat. Don't you get in the way, lad. Wow, I wonder what it will be. This is kind of exciting. All right, this ought to do it. Everybody, if you could step back a bit. Here we go. This is cool looking. Whoa, the lights! Cutscene power! That's kind of like the power that brought us here. Get to... Did somebody use ley lines and enter cards to steal us? This is a rhetorical question. Do not answer. But it's just like, that looks exactly like the portal thing that brought us here. The, that's... What is that thing? It's a magna gate. It's an entrance to a dungeon. An entrance to a dungeon? Yeah. 
Though this one isn't complete, we start by crafting intercards for the ley lines we want to read. Then using different combinations of those cards and varying their placement, we can change the flow of the ley lines and force them into new patterns, you see. Then boom, you've got the entrance to a dungeon. The entrance to the dungeon that you see before you, it's a particularly special one. Chances are, no one else in the world has ever used it. It's a path that Espion and I finally found after compiling all our years of research. We're using the power of the sun and the moon to manipulate some serious ley lines. But these two cards here aren't enough to summon up a real Magna Gate. I'd need the other two cards if I wanted to summon a usable Magna Gate. I see. I think I get it now. And the other cards you need are with Espeon, are they? Yeah. My intercards and Espeons. By combining both sets, it seemed like we were able to go finally going to be able to complete our research. But we were attacked right after we finished making these cards. And... Maybe it... Oh, ah, e idea. Once again, this is rhetorical, me just theorizing. But could it be that Espeon was the one to quote-unquote attack Swadloon in the forest? Because the red gem and the two cards, those were intercards. So it's possible that Espeon buried her intercards... And I guess the red stone for some reason? But I guess... I don't know. The red stone is the odd thing out. Because... The intercards were buried with the red stone, but then Swadloon was jump-scared by something. But when we got there, he still had the red stone, but the intercards were missing, and he didn't... remember being jump-scared. So I would... theorize... And so that maybe Espeon jumped out, took the intercards, and hypnotized Swabloon? Then again, it's also possible that another Pokemon did the exact same thing and stole the intercards, and we'll find Espeon, and she'll be like, my intercards were stolen, so I don't know. And that's why I've got to assume that the enemy's after our intercards. When you consider the fact that no one has attacked you since you've been here, it seems they might be trying to avoid drawing attention to themselves. I don't know about that, Swanna. They could just we want you to think that. Then they strike out of the blue. At any rate, we can all protect Umbreon together as long as he's here. We just leaves Espeon. What? You mean... There's no way we wouldn't save her after hearing all this. We can't just sit back and relax and someone's in trouble. We're the true hope after all. Leave it to us. We'll definitely bring Espeon back safe. There aren't even words. I promise I'll pay you back for this somehow. I think Espeon ran off in the direction of the Crags of Lament. I know I saw some of our pursuers heading that way. I'm sorry, but I'm counting on you for this one. You've got to save Espeon from them. We will. You can believe that. Neon, you can decide who's going to go, right? When everything's ready, let's sit out at once. We're going to get to the Crags of Lament and saving Espeon. I like this. The whole community's coming together. That Umbreon lad collapsed near down. The eerie lights in the sky. I can't help but think they may be related. If it's the eerie light I'm thinking of, no, that was Victini. They did say it was the entrance to a dungeon, didn't they? They can just summon up entrances to dungeons like that? Oh my goodness! I just saw some lovely lights, but more important... This time my stone is definitely going to crumble, oh my goodness! If my home crumbles now, I don't know what I'll... Goodness me, I would be so embarrassed I couldn't face anyone ever again! Goodness, no! I've got to do something! No, I don't want to talk to him again, damn it! I hurried up here because I heard you could see some kind of amazing light. Whoa, what is that thing? Dungeon technology. I decided there was no point to being half-hearted about it. 
So yesterday I marched right up to Signor Swan's Inn, Trub Trub, and I apologized for stinking up a place like that, Trub Trub. And then that grand lady, she said that she hadn't minded at all and that I wasn't to worry, Trub Trub. I was so touched, Trub Trub. That was the first time that I ever felt so happy being in a clean place, Trub Trub. And I feel sorry for you. <laughs> nothing, nothing new. How many golds do I got? I'm gonna think of it. I have 23. Almost halfway to a TM. Do I have any boxes? I have lots of boxes. And he doesn't mention the bright light. I've got boxes. But any box, right? Alright, what's this? Where's the right? Here you go. There, Max Elixir. You still got a treasure box. I can smell it on you. Come on, let me open it. The light box, right? All right, what's this? Ah! Impressive, right? Here you go. The Max Elixir. I'm getting lots of Max Elixirs. You still got a treasure box. I can smell it on you. Come on, let me open it. The gift box, right? All right, what's this? Wow! Ah! Impressive, right? Here you go. Reunion cape. I have yet to get another skill. Since I think like the so in a long time, feels like a long time. We're gonna protect Umbreon too. If you're looking out for the Signora, she's upstairs with Umbreon. Looks like it's closed. I can't get anything to eat if Swan is not here to give it to me. I guess there's no reason to stick around here today. Sorry to ask, but please. Save Espeon. I swear I'll repay you somehow. I'll protect Umbreon here. You should go and see to Espeon. What about you? Nothing new, but what you selling? What are you buying? What are you selling? Who are you killing? Raises max HP. My favorite thing. I want to read your description. Eating it slightly boosts your maximum HP. I'm gonna nom on that. Because I'm the one that's always getting annihilated. We'll quickly check out our places. I think I don't want to come in here. Like, uh, see if our orange berries are ready. Give us the orange berries, old man. Give us the orange berries. Only two? What a scam. I'll kill you next time. You failure. I'll make you into the fertilizer. Ah, <laughs> the, 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 the manual. Manual time. Who remembers Do the Roar? It was like two streams ago. I doubt people forgot that quickly. Power manual. Obviously, we're gonna... Then again, dual trap. Let's see. Let's read that damn manual. Well, first thing, back. Yeah, bring it to a dojo to raise a move's power. Da, 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 da. Let's see, status. Status. Because my vine whip is pretty powerful. What about your dual chop, old boy? Hmm, basically the same. Let me see, let me look at all my powers. Yeah, definitely gonna raise it on my vine whip. 
Because I am a hole. If you use a manual, you can train a move for free. Well, that's all that it is. Vine Whip. Hell yeah! That really raised the power. And of course, raise my Vine Whip even more. My Vine Whip will shall eclipse the skies! I'm sure Locke will love that. And now my brain just went harder, Snivy. Time to raise your dual chop. Raise the power of gods. Ba 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 ba. All right, we'll put our money away and then our orange berries away. The two extra orange berries that we got. We've got to hurry and save this, Spion. I'm ready to go at any time. I definitely would like to go and help rescue Espeon, but well, it's up to you to choose who is in the party, Neon. So I'll be counting on you, Neon. Ah, oh, but we need to go not through there, but through the normal way. Where will you go? To the Crags of Lament. The Crags of Lament. Ooh! Design! Music? The design of the everything? This is cool! Jesus Christ, stop! Ah, of course I got poisoned. Ah, uh, better play it safe and use a heal seed. Oh, I only have one. Shit. Interesting music. Cool diddly D. Oh, that slide on that whistle. I am falling in love with this game. I... I want an Explorers of Sky remake right this instant. Like, seriously. Explorers of Sky, but with, like, these gameplay mechanics? Please. Or at least, like, the leveling up, le like, moves. And just, like, stuff. It's like, I would love it. Hell, maybe you allow us to bring, like, our guildmates onto missions, maybe. That would be fun for a Explorers of Sky remake. But I would just love to see some of the dungeons from Explorers of Sky in this kind of style. think that this is fantastic. I just love it so much. Find me! And level up for me. <laughs> My power is rising. Even the gods will tremble at my power. 
Why do you always exist in front of me? Because now I feel discouraged from, like, ever attacking you front head. We already have one. Wait, I don't want to get another poison. Then again, we're nearing the exit, probably. So I probably could have gone back to tackling him. I like the music, the design of this, like, dungeon. I love it. I like the visuals. It's just so nice. Money! You fool! This game has such immaculate vibes. I love it. Just so great. Just imagining, like, Explores the Sky with these kinds of, like, stylized 3D graphics just for, like, the 3D environments, I think would be great. Like, imagine the dark future in 3D. The crumbling temporal tower in 3D, I think, would be great. Like, I do enjoy the pixel art, but it's just like, for some reason, this just speaks to me. There's an exit, but we're not going to leave just yet. There might be another room. We have come to murder you. Get karate chopped, idiot. You dare snow on me, I kill you. And that's how Frosty the Snowman died. Frosty the Snowman, he went and then he died. Got to explore all over, just because we can. Dear Lord, this is a long one. And soon my tackle will rank up again. And all this way for a single tile. That's why they give you the auto-run feature. Because sometimes... Long. Oh, hey, we can kill this guy. Goodbye. Just wonderful vibes. Money! You've made a mistake coming here. Now you're dead. Oh wait, there's an item drop back there? Come on, Brazilian, why didn't you pick it up? Wonderful experience. We already have a swim up, you fool. I just love, like, the visual design of this place. Well, I guess we might as well finish off the exploration on this section. deep in anyway.
Why oh, sparkly? Yay! Shit! Dead anyway. And then everything happened. <laughs> this level is gorgeous. Yes, it is. Peak mountain aesthetic, indeed. It just it feels so good. It looks so good. Just a wonderful design. Like, just seeing things in the fog down below, the other little, like, mountainous ledges around us with trees, vegetation. It's just wonderful. It's just so nice and visually pleasing. You have come to die. I'll level up for a Molga. Now, come on, Whimsicott, come and die. Of which you did. Congratulations. And that's it. <laughs> One big, long dead end. So let's go back home. And by home, I mean uh, to the exit. Or at least further in. Exit from the floor. We still gotta find Espeon. For some reason, my brain I mean, is just like, hey, uh, when you say we have to go find Espeon, add on the words so we can find out how fat her ass is. How dare you poison sting me, you asshole. Die. And now we move along. Ah, midway point. <sighs> God, you've been running long. <sighs> you can't escape us, no matter how quick you scamper. Where? Where are you? Wouldn't you like to know? Why don't you come find us? Um, I'm the one running from you here. Why would I come after you? I'm trying to get away. And you'll never catch me, not fools like you. Besides, I know what you're after. And I will never hand them over to you. <laughs> what a troublesome girl. Girl, ka 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 But she's pretty tired, ain't she? It's only a matter of time before we nab her. Crook. We'd better finish this up fast, though. Or we'll be the ones getting run ragged next. Crook, I know, Crook. Playtime's over then, and so is Espeon's freedom, Crook. Now, Mystery Dungeon, we do not condone sex slaves here. Oh, great. Now they can fly across the, the borders of the land. That's not good. I was wondering, just like, wait a minute. This this doesn't have a way to go. How are they flying around? Because they are flying around. And now Brain went Pokemon Mystery Sex Dungeon. Power up yourself all you want. Damn it. How could that miss? God has abandoned me. Quit gusting me and die. Why does a plant type have gust anyway? Huh. It's like, I will use the power of the enemy against you. What kind of dark magic did this grass type take to learn the power of the wind? Just want to make sure no sparklies. And on we go.
You dare die. All of these items belong to me. Including your soul. <laughs> After this, we sign enough? Probably. Because we d the dungeon should probably be like 10 floors long, maybe. This is me estimating. And then we'll have story stuff after that, and after that story stuff, we should be roughly around four hours in, which is gonna be the par for all of these Gates to Infinity streams. Because the story, the gameplay, it's all so good. I love it. I'm just loving this game. And plus, my water has run dry. So it'll give me the perfect excuse to go and rehydrate. Damn it! Why are you Swinob so powerful? I'm gonna go uh, get rid of that just in case that's affecting my accuracy. How dare die! My Vine Whip will destroy any and all before me. You put Moltres before me? I will tie them up in undestroyable vines. Let's go, Neon. Let's go save Espeon. I really want to get there as quick as we can, but we don't want to be rash either. Let's be sure we're ready. We've come pretty far in, but we still haven't seen any sign of Espeon, huh? Maybe she's still somewhere up ahead. Let's hurry ahead, Neon. Indeed. And now the music is getting chunky. I forgot the life seed. I needed to take it. Oh, dang it. I didn't put away anything. I am a fool. I'll quickly come over here. Life seed. Nom. Let's go! Crags of Lemon! Crags of Lemon! You all stealing my fucking items! You thieves! Soon I will steal your souls! Your soul is mine! Or at least, it will be. Like you! Die! My power grows with every one of your deaths. The items. You bastard. With your bloody contact poison. To hell with you. Nothing here. Onwards to the right, then. We have to save Espeon. And her ass. You motherfucker! Oh, I, I got that. I thought that an enemy picked that. I didn't even see a gold bar on the floor. I was just going on autopilot. I saw the bub bu bub picked up gold bar and I was ready to throw hands. Did not realize it that I was the one picking up the gold bars. <laughs> That would be a fine visit. Like, somebody picked up gold bars. I'm going to kill them. Uh, but, Neon, you are the one who picked up the gold bars. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I am. I guess I'm going to have to kill myself. That's a joke. What kind of name should we give you? Hmm. I don't know why, but my brain says... Aaron. You are Aaron. Be gone. Go back home, you prankster. Fine whip.
like another funny aha joke idea of like constantly vine whipping an enemy and they're like ah! uh, why do you keep vine whipping me he's like hey you should be happy some people pay for this Normally, the only person I vine whip for free is Locke. Oh, murder was happening. It's hard to tell because I walk away, and then suddenly the sounds of combat sound behind me, and I don't see anything. Primarily because I have the settings to, uh, set to not show me when my partners do things outside of my view. Because the constant back and forth would be evil. I'm just happy that the enemies can't use items yet. They're probably gonna learn to. Defense Carol, you want you're going to die. And then your money will become mine. And your stun seed. And a roll call orb. You dare elite seed me? How about you die? I just I love the design of this dungeon. It's so nice. It's so artistic. So cool. Cause I just I just definitely feel like there was a lot of passion put in to Gates to Infinity. I just feel like there was a lot of passion put into this game. It's so sad that a lot of people tore it apart when it first came out. On the crime of not being the best mystery dungeon game made to date. Because again, I can understand disappointment, but man, cut this game some slack. It's so good. Eh, you know what? Let's just jump ahead. <laughs> Getting all the way back down there just to continue the trailblazing. We've got a lot of items, and we still have a decent amount of floors to go. Let's go save Espeon. At least I didn't poison you. That would have sucked. My money. All of this money belongs to me and me alone. What dungeon are we at? Uh, I forget what it's called. Crags of Lament. We're looking for Espeon. And her ass. Because Umbreon came and uh, fainted at the doorstep of Post Town. And Espeon is in grave danger of people looking to get her enter cards. Presumably. That's the only reason they can even conceive of somebody randomly attacking them. Conveniently, right after they finished up... Hmm. Interesting that you were, like, on the ground. Ow. I guess you are the clang of this dungeon. I do want an anger. Please die. Another one. Die. We already have a swing up. I remember in a playthrough of this, I decided to, instead of getting Espeon, I got rank 1 off max rank and 
Half of paradise filled with useless stuff. <laughs> Poor, poor Espeon. Left running for five million years. And no sparklies. Sadness. Whee! You are going to die. Da, da, da. Level 9. I don't think I have the money to buy anything. They're not anything good. No vitamins for me. Prepare to die. Very disappointed in you and leave Tornado kill. Wrong button. Blair. Of course you miss. How dare you? <laughs> Get quick attack, idiot. They dropped an item too. <laughs> it's like the game is like, hey, are you running low? Here, have a bunch of max elixirs. Did you forget to bring max elixirs here? Let's top you off. And ally got lost. Damn it. <laughs> and through murder, I level up through <laughs> telepathy. I can learn Mega Drain. Ooh. Hmm. Potential to lower foe's accuracy, though. But this could be built up to do major damage. Hmm. And it could heal me. Hmm. But, like, its damage output is very low. And again, the ability to lower an enemy's accuracy, I guess I'll leave Mega Drain out for now. I can always go to Scraggy to learn it if I want to. Get paralyzed, idiot. Tornado. How even did you get separated from us enough to go wandering like that? And yeah, this should connect down here. Just wanted to fill that out so we know. Fills in the over here, too. But when we get to the boss, I assume there's gonna be a boss. Ah, for some reason, I thought I couldn't cross that. Ah, <sighs> oh, you fell to a dead end. <sighs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck, a Paragli? Oh, this running and dodging is really wearing me out. But it looks like we've got a view perfectly cornered now. Ugh. Hey, Paragli! At least you got the easy part. I'm the one who had to run ahead and cut her off, Croak! I'm super tired, Croak. Oh dear, toxic Croak. Perhaps a sign you need more exercise, hmm? Croak, y'all want to talk? I saw you huffing and puffing back there. Croak, now hand them over. Give us everything you've got. 
Yeah. <laughs> like she's gonna listen to you. It'll be fastest to just take them by force. Ah! Probably search the rest beyond's belongings. Yeah. Um, what's up? This girl doesn't. She doesn't have anything on her. What? Hey, where'd you stash them? Where'd the intercards? If you don't tell us, we'll have to force it out of you. I hope you're prepared, Espion. Stop it now! That looks like it must be Espion over there. All right. We made it. Nyah, what's this? Who are you strangers? We're the true hope, and we're here to save Espeon. What are these fools talking about? I don't get it, Croak. Girl, you, you're so irritating. I just want to get this job over with. Croak! Guess we just have to take care of them, then. Let's get this over with quick. You're right. Looks like that's our only choice. Boss time. Here they come, Neon. I don't know who you fools are, but you picked the wrong party to crash. Let's go! Espeon is four times strong against Toxicroak. Now that's funny. Well, first thing first. Slumber Orb! Ah, oh, this is the perfect uh, team for this. And I guess... All power up! Annihilate these fools. And just annihilate it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Annihilation. Crook! Yeah, ha, 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 Scram! Why do all of our evil people run away? Hey, you okay? Did they get you? We're here to help you. Umbreon told us everything. I see. Umbreon, he... Thank you for saving me. I've probably seen better days. But I'll be fine. No, I am fine. Pokemon like that can't get the better of me. You've got some guts at least, that's for sure. I'm glad to hear it. More importantly though, I must hurry to Post Town. There's something I have to be sure of. Got it, let's go then. Umbreon's waiting for us too. Huzzah! Would you like to save your adventure? Indeed. I wonder why my favorite item was a seed, though. That makes me feel weird. What happened to my... my scarf? Espeon! Umbreon! I'm so glad. You're all right. I... I didn't. No, I was more worried about you. But... As much as I just want to enjoy this moment with you, there's something I have to... I know, Espeon. We've got to at least thank Neon and the others properly first. Of course. Neon, Locke, everyone. Uh, you all, I owe you all so much. You saved us. Neither of us would be here without you. No problem. We're just glad you're both okay. But the Pokemon who attacked you two, who could they be? Who knows? I've got no idea who they are, but... Umbreon, they really were after the intercarts. So they were. That was my guess. I really don't know who the Pokemon that attacked us were, but if they were after the intercarts, then their goal seems obvious enough. Either they must want to get in the way of our research, or they plan to steal the intercarts because they want to go to the Great Glacier themselves. What? What? Hey, wait up! You just said. You know you just said something amazing like it was nothing, right? Huh? Did I really? I just said they might be after the intercards to get to the Great Glacier. Th 
the Great Glacier. You say you can actually go to the Great Glacier? Well, that mighty glistened glacier that near Pokemon is AI entered? You say, you say you can go there? Ah, uh, right. I guess I hadn't mentioned any of this yet, had I? The two of us have dedicated our careers to studying the Great Glacier. Deep within the Great Glacier, that's where it must be. The great crystal that causes all matter surrounding it to float in the air. That is what Umbreon believes. The great crystal that makes it matter float? There's no way to prove it exists. Ex exists con. Uh, ex My brain. I don't know. I thought. Bleh. There's no way to prove it ex exists except by going into the great glacier itself. But in front of the great glacier is a huge crevasse that prevents anyone from ever reaching it. That's why we thought of using the ley lines. We want to use them to create a dungeon that would lead beyond the crevasse. That dungeon could get us right up to the base of the Great Glacier. If we can just make intercards that will create such a dungeon, we should be able to reach the Great Glacier. At least, that's what we think. That's amazing! Then that means that both of your sets of intercards together... You could actually reach the Great Glacier? Pretty much. Though we still need to make a few more adjustments. But it might be too late for that now. Espeon, from the look of things, you don't have your enter cards anymore, do you? Did those crooks steal them from you? It's fine. It doesn't matter if they did. I don't even care about losing the enter cards. If you... As long as you're safe here with me again. But I... Honestly, Umbreon, could you not leap to your own conclusions without giving me a chance to explain? The intercards weren't stolen. But, but instead, well, I almost would have preferred it if they had been. The truth is that I, I've done something I truly regret, Umbreon. That's what I thought. You hypnotized the, uh, you scared the boy? Oh, you're here. Are you all right? You didn't get hurt. Please tell me you're okay. Yes, ma'am, I'm just fine. Uh, and these are... You actually had them the whole time? Uh, oh, those! The intercards! But why'd Swadloon have them? I kept my promise, ma'am. I didn't tell nobody, not nobody! Yes, I see that. Thank you, little one. I must have been so scared. Nah, I wouldn't get scared over that. I'm really strong. I'm so glad. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm really okay, ma'am. Honest. Oh, please don't cry. What in the world is going on? I really can't imagine. Miss Espion, it's nice to meet you. I'm this boy's mother. <laughs> I, oh, I'm so sorry. What I did was unforgivable. Because of my actions, your son, the sweet child, was put in danger. In danger? If you don't mind, could you please explain what happened to my son? Of course. Ever since I lost sight of Umbreon, I've been on the run from our pursuers. I tried to make it into Post Town, but my enemies were always one step ahead. I've been so close to Post Town for so long, but never made it to safety. I buried my precious belongings so that they wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. But I couldn't stop worrying, so I went back to my hiding spot in Inflora Forest. And here I thought you might have actually, like, done something to him. Actually, like, hypnotized him or something. I made my way to the spot where I buried my things. Every moment I felt my enemies might only be a few steps behind me. <laughs> Umbreon's voice sounds kind of deep. I was expecting something a bit more edgy. I don't know. I just go with the, I go with the flow. Random voices come to me. When I reached my hiding spot... This young boy was there. You... What do you think you're doing? Ah! Sorry! The... The intercards! This child had dug up my precious belongings. They were there in the dirt. Including the intercard. Oh, ah! Uh, does this all belong to you, ma'am? I'm really sorry. I wouldn't have disturbed them if I knew they belonged to someone. I was rattled. If my pursuers had found this child, the intercards would have been lost forever. More importantly, though, if they'd followed me into the forest, we still might be attacked at any moment. What to do? I searched desperately for an answer, and that's when I made a mistake. 
Child, you must listen carefully to what I'm about to say. Okay. No, not like this. If I look desperate, he'll just be frightened. I have to be calm. Ready. Listen, it's true that these things belong to me, but is there something here you wanted in particular? Yeah, I thought this red stone was really pretty. Is that right? Then I'll give you this stone. What? Really? It's yours, but first I need you to make of me a promise. I want you to take those cards with you as well. Those, these cards? That's right. I want you to keep them until I come get them back from you. And the cards will be our little secret, all right? Just yours and mine. So that's why he was kind of dodgy at the beginning when we found him, but was otherwise normal. I don't want you to tell anyone else about these cards. What do you think? Can you promise me that? Yeah, I will. I promise. I won't tell nobody about your cards, ma'am. I live in Post Town. Come visit soon, okay? I will. That noise. Is someone coming? Okay, then. I've got to be going, but you're going straight home, right? Your mother will be worried about you. Yeah, I'll head back home now. See you later. Woohoo! I got the red jewel! And that was how I ended up entrusting the intercards to this child. But afterwards, I realized what I'd done, my folly. Despite any promises, our secret might not remain a secret for long. By placing the intercards in this child's care, if the Pokemon pursuing us somehow learned that he had the cards. It, it's certainly true that Awi Swadloon would have been the one to pay. As soon as I realized that, I hurried back to Inflora Forest at once, but I was too late. Swadloon was gone. We must have just passed one another. You probably headed back into the forest, right after we had gone to rescue Swadloon. I may have been desperate, but thinking about the danger I put the innocent boy in, I... But I was on the run every moment after that. I never had a chance to look out for him. And the whole time I was running, I was positively sick with worry. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness nothing happened. Please don't cry, Miss Espeon. Listen to my mom, ma'am. Please don't cry. You were so afraid and you acted on that fear. You felt you had no other choice. Yet even while you were being hunted, you kept my son in your heart. Thank you. And most importantly, my Swadloon kept his promise to you. That makes me proud. He's surely stronger for having shared this secret with you and being true to his word. As a mother, I am grateful to you for that gift, Miss Espeon. <laughs> That's great, huh, Espeon? Espeon. Yes, everything has worked out. That's one mystery solved, at least. But Umbreon, what are, these, what are the two of you planning to do now? Yeah, about that. If it's not too much trouble, would it be alright if we stayed here a bit longer? There's a good chance we'll be targeted again as soon as we leave Post Town. And neither of us are in the best shape right now. Then I suppose that's probably for the best. I keep changing Gerter's voice. Of course you can stay. We aren't expecting any other guests, so keep your rooms as long as you need them. Th thanks, Swana. We'll definitely take you up on that. Everyone should get used to seeing us as a regular fixture in the inn for a while. You'll still have to pay your bills, of course. I knew that. <laughs> and the moon's still gone. Today was definitely eventful, but at least Espeon wasn't hurt, right? When we first met Espeon, I thought she was really tough. But she also takes things seriously and tries really hard. And I never thought she'd just burst into tears like that. Embryon's really single-minded, too. I like him. I really like both of them. It's true. It's obvious even to us how serious Espeon and Umbreon are about their research. And what about the intercards they study? And the Magnagate created by those cards? Yeah, uh, am I gonna bring up what I brought up earlier? At that moment, when the circle of light flooded the hill, the sight of the Magnagate appearing from the middle of that blinding light, that's something I'll never forget. And Umbreon even said that that was an incomplete version. What will it be like once it's finished? I kind of want to see that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, Neon, I've been thinking. I'd really like to help Espeon and Umbreon with their research. What do you think? It wouldn't be a bad idea for True Hope to help out, would it? 
I think it'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it's not just me. Thanks, Neon. So we'll go talk to Embryon about it tomorrow, okay? I guess we ought to call it a night. Tomorrow, then. Night, Neon. The next morning. I like this. I like that. Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. That was a nice amount of story there. And I still, I feel like everything's like small building blocks being built up. And I really, really like that. I I also uh, I really enjoy that Swadloon, Swadloon's little adventure got tied in with the thing that I'm like, was kind of going around the same time because we constantly saw people like looking at Post Town. I guess that was Espeon constantly being like, ooh, Post Town's there, but then her opponents would keep ahead of her and run her off in a different direction before she could get to Post Town. And that's why we like saw it twice, I think. And that's why it, the note said Mis a suspicious Pokemon was being seen. It probably wasn't even Espeon. It was probably uh, Toxicroak. Probably getting ahead of Espeon and stopping her from going, like, uh, all the way. Yeah, that, that was a fun amount of story. And I like the characters. That's the thing. I like the characters. I like the story. It's just like, it's all very nice. And I'm going to assume that that was another boss-like check. Toxicroak and Perugly will be another, uh, boss check on the main menu. So, rough, rough. We're kind of, like, boss-wise, we're halfway through. And, uh, with tw out of 24 hours, this'll be 12 hours. So, yeah, we're actually halfway through, I think, story-wise. <laughs> we get to go to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Canada. <laughs> on the map of the five big continents, this game's continent is a North America uh, kind of location. And Great Glacier is north, so Canada. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> We're going to the mythical land of Canada! But I like the characters in this. I do enjoy that there's, like, some nihilism and suspicion a lot of the time. But at the same time, there are some characters, like the ones that we've interacted with, who are more nice and forgiving. And I like that. I like that there's kind of this... Uh, and stuff like I can't wait I can't wait for more I can't wait for more story I like it I like it I like it I like it it's very very fun this is very very fun it hasn't been all that difficult I feel like Explorers of Sky was a bit more difficult but I, I probably just jinxed myself knowing me more than likely next time monster houses and traps galore are gonna fall on me I don't even know if this game has monster houses from the feel of it I don't think it does but you never know. The moment that I say there's no mystery dungeons, it's going to come and kill me. But... I do believe that that will be it for now. So, thank you very much for joining me, everybody. We went on grand adventures, saved a child, and helped up some evolutions, which is always fun. I wonder if they'll join the paradise and I'll be able to bring them along with me on adventures. That'd be fun. But next time we will see about helping Espeon and Umbreon with their research and see what things happen next. And it's just like, I, it, it's like we're halfway through the game and we haven't even met the, like, the person that's like, a help, and like presumably brought us to this world. And again, rhetorically saying this, no confirmation or deconfirmation, please. The Magna Gate looked like the same power that brought us to the Pokemon world. So I wonder if somebody else was using the Ley Lines to bring us here. We'll have to see. Yep, I'm trying to stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, next time will be Saturday at 5, and we'll see what it is that we'll do next. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree should be 
found in any link place, description, or bio on the various sites I use. Linktree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings has links to everything that I do. Edited video content on YouTube, streams on YouTube and Twitch, and my streaming YouTube also has all of these here streams uploaded to them uh, at some point in the future. I try to keep them like every two days uploading if I have a backlog. And once again, if you want to be super duper fast, I there should be a playlist that has all of them raw, uh, just from the stream themselves. Blah blah blah. But if you, blah blah blah, uh, other things I do is art, and my link tree has all the art sites that I post to, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, all the places. And then of course I have writing that I do. So the two places or the the places that I post my are my, my, my writing too. They're also in my link tree. I need to write more. Brain goes bleh. And then of course my Patreon exists. So if you want to be super duper kind and throw some money at my little donation box, you can. But only if you're in a stable condition to do so. Just in case, because there's some people who are crazy. Like my final dollar goes to you. It's like no, don't do that. But yes, thank you very much for joining me, everybody. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.